Igwe. Igwe. I wasn't expecting any of you. Your Majesty, it is to show you how important it is. Don't you think it is not supposed to be at this very crucial time in... Greetings, Elder Sofimunde. Elder Sofimunde, I greet you all. Greetings to you, Elder Sofimunde. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> Igwe, why are you all looking like that? Who were those maidens? Maidens? Yes, the ones that just left. Oh, those. Oh. They actually came for my son, uh, Prince uh, Oseloka, for him to choose a wife from one of them. Really? Oh, yes. Hey, but considering the marks on their bodies, Your Majesty, those maidens are not from this land. Yes, Your Majesty. And we all already know who the prince wants to marry. You are right, Ichi. Prince Oseloka has already made it clear that it must be a Kiyonye or no other maiden. Exactly. <laughs> so I wonder why the prince would want to choose a maiden from another kingdom. Your Majesty, they are right. And the whole thing is not convincing at all. What's going on? Um. Uh, but, Your Majesty, you are still that revered king of this kingdom, and uh, let us not disturb ourselves about this. Uh, but, Your Majesty, uh, don't you think it is not proper for you to leave the throne at this time of the day, unless it is for emergency? We have set up a near-perfect revenue structure in this kingdom, where money flow in into this palace on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, you, oh, oh, no, we'll stop. Stop! Do you want to teach me on how to be a king? No, I am not teaching you how to be a king, Your Majesty, but I am, I am telling you what is right. Based on the structure we have in place, money can come in from any department of our revenue structures, and you are the one that has the responsibility of collecting that money when it comes. Oh, yes. If you are not sitting where you are supposed to sit at any point in time, don't you think the kingdom will be losing revenue when they come? That's the point I'm trying to make, my king. Oh, no, Your Majesty. My son's marriage is also very important to me. And it is equally an emergency. Like I said, I did not have a scheduled meeting with you today. So, what is the reason for this visit? Your Majesty, I said it already because of the importance. In fact, we are here because of the plantation, the one very close to Umudenkwa Kingdom. The plantation close to Umudenkwa land? Yes. Uh -huh, so, what about it? Is that why you are disturbing me this afternoon? Konye. Konye, calm down. Calm down and hear me out. I already know what you want to say to me, Prince Osiluka. I do not think you do. What else do you want me to say? Why? 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 Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing to you? You're not being fair to me. <laughs> Who does she think she is? Nchekubi. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? The prince keeps begging her as if she is the only maiden in the land of Umibe. And how does that concern you? Is that supposed to be a question? A question it is. I don't blame you. Nchekubi, you need to stop being jealous. I'm so sorry, my prince, but please, I have to get going. Just like that? Yes. Excuse me. I, 
I to eat. You enjoy being taken for granted. Greetings, my prince. My prince, I had everything. You had everything? Yes, my prince. How? Who are you and where were you hiding? Oh, huh? Huh? My name is Oluchi. I am also from this kingdom, my prince. So? My prince, um, I want you to forget everything about that maiden. I am so ready to be yours. Ah! You see? What? Hey! Kabo Nadena. Hey, animal female temo. What else will I see tomorrow, Shiva? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm in love with the prince. No, no, excuse me. Have we met? Look at this small girl. Look at this small girl. Huh? Hey, Zuzat. Leave this moment before the count of three. One, two, three. I'm going to die. 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 I'm going to My prince, what is it you are not also? Well, my prince, you look disturbed. I am fine. What message do you bring? Well, my prince, um, the king asks to see you. For what? To be honest with you, I don't know. My prince? My prince? I did everything. You walked out on me. And you are here feeling bad. Yeah. Take your stars, he ended up just like that. What are you saying? Did you even listen to my explanation? What did you explain? If not that you hid somewhere, listening to the prince. Thank you, stars. He just walked out like that. Why are you this heartless Oledo? And you call yourself my friend. Hey. It's because you're my friend. That is I'm telling you this. Leave the prince alone. I should leave the prince alone. After I told you how I feel for him, what will they do? Whatever fleece you have for him will amount to nothing. He has no feelings for you. Quit the game of stalking the prince. He might report you to the king and you know the implications. You know what will they do? Leave me alone. Go away with your advice. I don't feel it. He doesn't have feelings for you, my friend. I guess I am too little to be noticed. No, no, Father. Uh, apologies. Sincere apologies. What troubles you, my son? <laughs> my 
Father, is it a crime to be in love, to fall in love? I think I know where you're coming from. Well, my son, it is not. But sometimes, love does not pay. That's why I try to enjoy myself when I have the time. I do not understand. I'm not advising you not to marry, son. But you should learn how to enjoy yourself when you have the time. Father, you would not be passing through this emotional torture if you had learned the art. Hmm? Learn to enjoy yourself while you have the time. Think about it, son. Oseloka. Meet me in the throne room. things at the appropriate time. So please, don't prod me. What do you mean by that, Nkonya? What do you mean? I am your father, and it is my responsibility to direct you accordingly. But I'm no longer a child. I'm a fully grown maiden now. Shut up! I'm the, uh, I said shut up! Have you gone out of your mind? A man like Prince Jose Luka, has been asking for your hand in marriage and you have not been able to give a specific answer. Whose daughter are you? Father, I haven't said anything reasonable to him because I am not ready for marriage now. I am not. I said shut up! Now listen. I, Ichiume, your father, cannot marry you. That is not possible. You better start giving a positive consideration to the princess's request. Else! I will vent my anger on you. Hey, hey, stop. Why are you smiling? What are you trying to do? I came to see the prince, of course. I came to see the prince, of course. For what? What do you mean by that? Did he ask you to come? No. Is he expecting you? Uh -uh. Did anybody tell you that Atuma, the masquerade, had this palace in mind when he sang the Akula Kula song? Hmm. Mind now how you, how you talk to me. Mind how you talk to me. Eh? And, and, and keep me out of that. Uh, you use less masquerade and you use less song. I want who? Is it our almighty Atuma Ogufoluchi? Now you're calling the useless masquerade? Hmm. Hmm. Eh? Kabonye, please, oh. I, I'm a maiden. Eh? I'm a maiden. Keep me out of your masquerade talks. Uh, are you jealous that I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to the prince? Mua! Yes. Me, Kabonye, I'm not be jealous of you. Listen, I rather, I rather plead with a female goat for a relationship that her, than have you, Waloto, as my woman. You are a very stupid man. You are a very stupid you man. Stupid. You are stupid! You are a Prince. What is going on here? Greetings, my friends. My prince, you won't believe that this very useless guard of yours have just been insulting me since I came here. They will jump for you to have the guts to insult our almighty Atuma Ogufoluchi as a useless masquerade. 
I will insult you the more, idiot. My prince, are you hearing what he's saying to me? He, he's practically calling me an akuna kuna. Yeah. In fact, you have you have advanced to Oyago. My prince, are you are you hearing what he's saying? It's okay. It's okay, one okay. It's okay. That's all you have to say. It's okay. What are you doing here? My friends, I, I came to see you, my see? friends. You know, I want to speak very close. You see? Feel That's what, did I not say it? Yeah? I Abuna! I said to him, my friends. My friends, just feel me. Hold me. Hold me. One or two. My friends. Leave. What? Yes. Yes. You, 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 you had it. Leave! My friends, I should leave. Ah! Go! 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 You do it, Abuna! No, no, no. Oh, oh, I, 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 I know that you are not blind, but are you, are you, are you fully deaf? Idiot! Oh, you, uh, uh, come back! Come back and uh, 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 seduce the prince and get him! I know of you! Agona, agona! Oya, ago! Idiot! Kunya Allah! Idiot! Feel me! Feel me! Feel me! Feel me! Idiot! Kunya Allah, agona! I gave them all the money. You did? Yes. Don't you think they deserve it? Well, Your Majesty, it is not just about that. Then it's about what? Your Majesty, I have this feeling you are spending too much. Oh, no, we don't even go there. Don't even go there. Hmm? Really? Have you forgotten who I am? Have you forgotten that our kingdom, Umuben, is richly blessed? That I, Eze, Ebebelu, Ugobelu, will never lack. Your Majesty, could this be the reason you have not said anything concerning the plantation near Umudempoa? Oh, oh, that. Um. Oh no, Eze Banda is simply jealous. He's simply jealous of Eze, Ebebelu, Godelu, and the entire Umumban kingdom. Your Majesty, this has gone beyond being jealous. Eze Banda threatened to take over the plantation because, according to him, the land belongs to them. Are you not aware? But you know it's not possible. No, you, yourself, you know. It is not possible. Hmm? Have you also forgotten that we are blessed with deadly warriors? But your majesty, I am very worried that Ezebanda is already thinking towards that direction. Oh no. Oh no. You should not be worried. <sighs> eh? Oh no. You should not be worried. I want you to be happy. Huh? Hmm? Be happy because I, Eze, Ebe Belu, Go Belu, I'm happy. Yeah. Hmm? Because I know the secret <laughs> of happiness. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> You mean she is nowhere to be found? My prince, I was with her some hours ago. I don't even know when she left this compound. I don't know. Hmm. You cheer me. My prince. Why? Why is your daughter doing this to me? Is it a crime to be in love? Tell me. Or is it, is it that I am not good enough to be her husband? My prince, I understand how you feel about my daughter's silly attitude towards you. But I am pleading on her behalf. Please forgive her. Secondly, I assure you that she will consider your proposal very soon. Just give us some time. 
please, my prince. It is all right to chill me. I have to go now. My prince. Ichi, please talk to your daughter. Because the prince has made it clear that it must be her. Believe me, Ichi, I have tried to convince the prince to forget about your daughter. But he still insists that it must be your daughter. Carbonia, uh, my, my, my prince, I am right behind you. If your daughter eventually loses the prince, you might be happy. Listen, uh, Kabu Nadina. Kabu Nadina. Kabu Nadina. Ah, when I told you. What kept you uh, for so long? Huh? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, eh? yeah. You know how I long to hear good news. Indeed, good news, Your Majesty. That is what I have for you. Really? <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Uh, Come on. Speak, Majesty, speak. This one is a beautiful one from Umobe. The kingdom of beauty itself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Umobe? Yes, Your Majesty. <sighs> <laughs> it will not us, uh, 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 uh. See, Majesty. It will not us, uh. Yes, Your Majesty. If you were a titled man, mm -hmm. I would have given you a handshake. <laughs> <laughs> For you, only you know how to satisfy my heart's desires. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how long I have been hoping for. <laughs> I know your majesty. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, also, your majesty, for this, I shall reward you. Oh, thank hmm? you, your majesty. <laughs> and more rewards shall be coming your way. Hmm? <laughs> as long as you... Uh, your Majesty uh, can count on me. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on me. <laughs> um, Ewanatozo. Your Majesty. Ewanatozo. Bapia. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Ewanatozo. Beautiful one. Ewanatozo. <laughs> Ewe belu obulu mwa mwa bokwa nu mwa mwa ni chai wanya toka Why are you pissing about worriedly? Is it what I'm thinking? I am beginning to understand the power of love. Power of love? Hey, my prince. Do we discuss love in this palace? I'm talking about myself, Kabe. I'm not referring to the palace where my father gives useless advice. I am in love. Kabe, I am in love. But it is a one-sided love and it is killing me. I do not know what to do. <laughs> yes, she is, Your Majesty. 
Olama from Umobi Kingdom. She came well prepared for you. <laughs> Very prepared. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I told uh, Your Majesty, <laughs> you will leave us. <laughs> As you wish, my king. <laughs> Ah. Turn around. Let me see what you have. And show me what you've got. Really? Your Majesty, should we be doing this here? Why can't we do what? Ever, wherever. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thought you were briefed. I was briefed that I was coming to satisfy the tall, handsome king of Umumben. A king who sits on a mountain of money. I was never told it will happen before the throne. Really? It appears you still have some decency in you. Hmm? Hmm. For that, I will make your visit a memorable one. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Can we go inside now? I don't see myself doing anything here. Really? You don't know what you have said. You don't, you don't, you don't know what you have just said. But, let me tell you, you have just bought a room in my heart. Hmm? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, let us go, let go. Husband Snatcher, you are not ashamed of yourself. Husband Look Snatcher. Who is to be ashamed? It's because you are frustrated. Ooh, Idiot. Frustrated. Ah, that Look at you. Go. Look See at you. Ooh. I don't even have your time. Husband's Do you nature. hear me? I Husband's don't have your nature. time. That is what you are. Husband's that is what what you else do have. you know? Her. Go and take good care of your husband. Look at me. You two so look at me. You two look at me. Husband's oh, nature. Oh, Look at you. Oh, you. Oh, Husband's oh, nature. Hey. hey. Husband's hey. Hey. What is the meaning of this now? Ask her! Ask this stupid woman! This woman is a husband snatcher! Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? She wants to, to take my husband away from me! Take him to where? Ask her! Oh no, ask this idiot! You are an idiot! I don't call you! You are an husband snatcher! I will deal with Leave you! Leave my husband in this lodge! Leave him in this lodge! What's happening here? How can you do this? Oh, women like you! Stand on the road fighting! What will you teach your children? Oh no, I want to say something. This woman eh, is accusing me wrongly. Because her husband normally comes to my house to buy up. Oh, jealousy only up. You are a oh, frustrated woman. Idiot. Because you are you are frustrated. Enough, enough of this. Go home. Go home and learn how to live in peace with one another. Hey. You are the white. You, you, are said, you, hey, stop. Husband snatcher. Enough, Paula. Don't worry. Come on. Why? Stupid women and their troubles. Is, she, is this not the same thing we have been saying? Yes. The women of this kingdom should have a leader. At all. Oh. You know you are correct, you know, but the king is something else. Uh, you know. You oh. know. Well, 
But we have to persuade him the more. Persuade him for how long? Isn't that the same thing I've been doing over and over and over again and you will not listen? You are correct, oh no. But we have to ah. continue doing that. I entered here. I've carried it um, I, I have it. I it. am with Wait. you. You can What are you saying? No, no, no. It's fine. You like it's to look for trouble, Chikubi. Oh, it's true, it's true. She won that one. She didn't win it. You won it. And you have to take it. Chikubi, Chikubi, you won the game. And she took it. Hey, why are you doing that now? Okay, wait, wait. Let's let's calculate now. Let's calculate. Chere. Hey, look, you won it. Look at the prince. Where is he going to? Who cares? Let's be playing what we are doing, please. Ah, you won the game. Collect it from her. You are like, you don't know her. You don't know her. That's why she always. Wait, Chokube. Wait, Chokube. Can we just play this game and forget the prince, please? You have to drop that. You have to drop that. Why will I drop it? It's not your game. She won it. Greetings. Greetings, my friends. Greetings, greetings, beautiful maidens. Greetings, my friends. Okay. How are you? Fine. Come on. Put a smile on that face. Are we quarreling? <laughs> Not at all, my prince. Uh, my prince, I'm sorry. I, I think we should excuse you. Uh, who are the we? Uh, uh, my, my prince. Be still, Kabe. There is absolutely no need for that. My prince, please tell her. Um, my prince, how did you know that I am here? Kabe. Please. <laughs> okay. These are carefully handcrafted, expensive necklaces and bracelets made by Naobo herself of Kilichi Kingdom. I got them for you. Come on, take. <laughs> My prince, does it bite? I am the one that brought it here and it did not bite me. So, why are you afraid to take it? Okay. Permit me to use this opportunity to ask again in front of your friends. Will you marry me? My prince, don't tell me that is why you traveled all the way to Kelechi Kingdom. To get me these? Okay, please. I'm so sorry, my prince, but I am not that cheap. And for your question, I don't have an answer yet. my prince I followed you because of the the, the gifts in Konya rejected 
the same gift? Hmm? Why? My prince, Mkonye is my friend. And I know her better than any of her friends. So? My point is, she does not love you. I'm sorry to say this. You're wasting your time trying to make her your wife. She will never agree. Is that an assumption? No, my prince. It is not an assumption. It is the truth. <laughs> Kabe, my, my prince, shut it. Must you interfere in everything? Uh, uh, apologies, my prince. <coughs> my prince, why not forget Nkoni and consider me? Look, I am going to make a better wife. Kabe. Give it to me. Hmm? My prince, the gift? Yes. What do you want to do with it? Do you have a death wish? Are you all right? Uh, of course, my prince. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Have I not been perfect all day? Sorry, my prince. What? Uh, take. I, I should take it. Uh, my prince, is this for Nkoni or for me? For you. <laughs> my prince, thank you. Thank you, my prince, um, for you to give me such an expensive gift means that I'm special to you. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Actually, I need you to help me talk to Nkonya. You said um, you two are very close friends. Help me, please. Tell Nkonya that I love her. Tell her that she is the only maiden I want to spend the rest of my life with. Thank you. Beautiful one with the eyes of a deer. <laughs> you see, at this point in our relationship, oh, we should not be hiding things from one another. Am I hiding anything from you? Is it not obvious or hiding something? And I'm not happy. Well, happiness is something you can buy with money when you want to. Um, do you really believe money can buy happiness? Well, yes, I do. Are you not buying me with your money? Or am I not your happiness? Hmm? Look, my dozy. I need to correct a false impression. Look, this, you and I, this isn't a relationship. We, we're just having fun, all right? Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> ah, my prince. Get there, you want to my prince? My prince. My eyes are seeing my ears. Is it not? Is it not? The, the Kabe, do not say a word. No, oh, my prince. Why, why, why are you stopping me? Eh? Let me tell you, you idiot. Something mightier than all Yago. One the more head of word. It. And you will see a very different Usiluka. I'm sorry, my prince. Mm. Oh, Yago. This is your fault. I don't even know why I came out here to see you in the first place. Hey! Come back! Wait, wait! Oh. Just when I'm this so close. Wow! 
What in the name of the gods is your problem, Okoye? Did I tell you I have any? No, you did not. So why the question? Why is it so difficult for you to accept the prince's proposal? It's not even like you have a reason. You don't. So why is it so difficult for you? <laughs> you really want to know? Yes. I want to know. That is because I am not ready yet. Oh, I'm not. There she goes again. She is not ready. You don't believe me? I don't understand you. Don't you believe me or don't I have the right to say what I want? You don't believe me? Yes, I don't believe you. Fine, Chikodili. You know what? Believe whatever you want to believe. Iko, Papa Maka. I'm speechless, my king. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you should be. But, um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You deserve it. <laughs> All this for me. Hmm? And more will keep coming your way, you know, insofar as uh, you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, dear. <laughs> Jim, dear. I understand. <laughs> uh, uh, greetings, my in law. Greetings. Greetings, father. Ah, uh, greetings, son. Why are you standing? Sit. Um, Kendalim, you should be going now. Hmm? My guards will help you with all this. Hey, thank you, Onyenze. Yeah. May you live long, my mm -hmm. your majesty. <laughs> it's well with you. Thank guards! You. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> How is it going? I know you went to see the one who has stolen your heart. Has she allowed you to steal hers? Not yet, Father, but soon. Soon? Well, um, all I can say is that I wish you the best of luck, son. Father. Yes? Did you gift all those items to Walutu's mother? Yes. And do you have a problem with that? Why? Why? <laughs> What's funny? What, what is funny, Father? I hope it has nothing to do with her daughter because I will not marry her daughter. Calm down, son. Calm down. You don't have to marry her daughter. I only did that because I want to help a poor widow. You know your father. He is a cheerful giver. Oh, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't be this extravagant. Come on, son. That's impossible. Do you not know who I am? Urimiri, Atata, Aneliako, Takwanabata. Do you not see how revenues of this kingdom pour in from left, right, and center into this palace? Son, I can never be too extravagant. Always remember that. Can I ask you a question, Father? Go on. Tell me. 
Why have you refused to remarry? What is my pot doing in front of my heart? Eh, that is the, the same person I've been asking the pot. Eh, 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 let me ask it again. Pot, what are you doing outside here? You see? It has refused to talk. Now listen to me. Don't you ever trespass into my heart again. What is that supposed to mean? Eh? I told you I made this pot here. You warned. Car! Go with that nonsense! Nonsense! Fake Otanjali Vitane! You claim it practically makes one a seer when, when, when you apply it. Yeah? Nonsense! Fake! Did I say anything when I apply it? Nothing! Fake! Nonsense! Hmm. Hmm. Lele. Ah, you idiot. You idiot. Is it not the same thing that I did? Hmm. Hmm. Idiot. Idiot. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, you want to scare me or what? Yatamata? Yatamata? Your mother ran away and left you and your father when you were young. To Iroquois, to live with another man, of course. Simply because your father could not provide her all she needed. Kabe, true or false? that you love is not in love with you why is that a problem father it is not just a problem it has become a very huge problem because I no longer sleep at night I do not know what to do well I speak to you as a king and I want you to understand me as a prince who has been exposed to power wealth and influence Leave that lady and look for another. Father, we are talking about a maiden that I love from the very depth of my heart. That is why she has been playing with your heart. Listen, my son. Let me talk to you like a father. Love does not exist. What exists is enjoyment. Father, why are you saying this to me? I do not want to hear this. I love her. I love the maiden in question and I will love her forever. Please, do not tell me this. It is misleading. Excuse me, Father. Ewe na 
Matos, where are you? Where are you? Where? Where are you? You have your majesty. All for your pleasure. Iwanatozo, this isn't time for explanation. You may leave. Majesty. Go! Go, 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 go! Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh, yeah. Yes. Your uh, Highness, I'm happy to come before your presence, Your Majesty. Yes! <laughs> So, it has gotten to the extent of you seeing her in your dream. Huh? What do you mean by that? Ha! Ah! Nkonye. What have you done to my prince? Kabe. Hmm? My prince. Why are you here? Yeah, I came to check if you wake up peacefully. Have I committed any crime by doing so? All right. I woke up. And I woke up peacefully. You may leave. My prince. Now. I am telling you, the prince caught me with Naidozi. Naidozi? Who is Naidozi? Mother. Oh! The one from Ungene? Yes, mother. Uh -huh. And so? But I think I may have ruined everything. Stop being negative. Walu, stop being negative. You ruined nothing. 
Listen, find something and tell him. All I know is that you must never lose the prince. To Konya or to any other maiden, you must marry him. Hey, hey, hey mother, speaking of Nkonye, you know the last time we spoke about her, you didn't give me any solution as to what to do about her. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a perfect plan that we must execute and everything will be fine. <laughs> yes, what exactly are you trying to say? Why not go straight to the point? Okay, oh, yes, let me go straight to the point. Today made it four years that your late wife, Lolo Odoziako, passed on. Yes. Your Majesty, we have been waiting for you to make a move towards finding a replacement in form of having a new wife. But you are not making any move towards that. Your Highness, you are not telling us the truth. That can be. Uh -uh. It's not possible, Your Majesty. And what do you mean by that, Ichi Aroma? Your Highness, there is no way you can tell us that you've not seen a woman to marry. There is no place you can place such argument anywhere in the world. It's not possible. Honestly. Your Majesty, Ichi Aroma is right. Why do you give me the impression that you all have been meeting behind me? Why? Your Majesty, you are getting it wrong. We have not done any such thing. We are only telling you the truth. Your Majesty, there is a vacuum in the leadership of women of this kingdom. And it has already created a problem in the land. Just the other day, I was taking a walk with Ishia Gwalonye here. And we ran into these two women that were fighting, practically on the verge of killing themselves, yeah. over a little matter that could have been resolved amicably. And we started asking questions. Had it been they had a leader, would they not be scared of their leader and not, be, and not misbehave? Exactly, Your Majesty. And you, as king, knows that the women of Umumben need a leader in order to be properly organized. Why are you? Why are you all making it look as if it's all my fault? Oh, yeah, we do respect Your Majesty. It is your fault. No, it's my fault, Your Majesty. It's my fault. Because you have refused to remarry. You need to have a wife so that the women of this kingdom will have a leader. That's what you are saying. And how many times have I told your wife, Mwakalo, to become the women leader? Are you not the Onowu of this kingdom? Why is that understanding this? That is unacceptable, Your Majesty. And you know. I, your Majesty, please. I appreciate this offer that you made for my wife to be the leader, but I humbly decline. Because it does not just make sense. The leader of the women of Umumbem must be the wife of the king. Hold on. Let's be truthful to ourselves. What we are doing here is not right. Mm. And why did you say that? This timber plantation belongs to the people of Umumbem. For our king to ask us to come here and take over this land is wrong. I can't believe you are the one saying this. Why did you not say it before the king? We do respect Iluno. What Luka is saying is right. Yes. If it's a band that wants us to take over this plantation or start benefiting from it, there could be another way to go about it. Um, um, do you know what? We're already here. And today we must make a statement. Anyone from Umumbem that step into this land is already there. There they are. You warriors of Umudipa, what are you doing in our land? You know, our plantation to be precise. <laughs> Wait, did I hear you call your land? No, you must be dreaming. Now let me remind you, 
this land belongs to Umudimpa. Our king has already instructed us to kill anyone from Umumbem that stepped into this land. So I advise you to leave this place before you lose your life. You lie! I can see you are five in number and you're just two. Oh, sorry, the small boy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes them two and a half. <laughs> now listen! I want you all to disappear from this land before I get to the count of five! I want! One! one! I want! Two! Three! Four! Hey, 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 hey. Come on! Are you ready to leave now? No! We are not leaving! We are going nowhere! Get ready to die then! Leave now or you die! What do we do with them? We will come back for them. Let's go. Come on. Your Majesty, we know you smuggle women into your chambers. Yes. And as a council, am I saying. Oh, no, you, you are, are saying right. the truth. You are no. right. So, we are saying, Your Majesty, that you settle for any of these women as wife. So that the women of Umumbem can have a leader. As it is, we are no longer bothered if the woman is from Umumbem or not. Yes. As long as you settle for her to be your wife, we have settled for her to be the leader of our women. Is that not what we agree? Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes, that is it. Mm. Ndiche, it is not as simple as you think. A woman to warm your bed for a night or some night is not the same as a woman who would spend the rest of her life with you. We do respect my king. You are not talking like a king. Stop, Ono. I don't want to feel insulted. I have not seen a woman to marry. It is as simple as that. If the women of this kingdom are desperate for a leader, as you want to have me believe, then the wife of the Onowu is their leader. Ah. Full stop. Ah, no. Igwe. Igwe. Ah. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Why are both of you panting as if you got down from a woman after a rough ride? Your Majesty, Diobi and I just fought some warriors of Umudikwa and we killed two of them. Yes, Your Majesty. They trespassed into our, our timber plantation, claiming that the land belongs to Umudinkwa. We immediately attacked them. And we killed two of them on the spot, Your Majesty. And the other three escaped. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> so as a wonder really meant his threat. This is very serious. Your Majesty, are we going to allow as a wonder execute this deadly plan of his? Mm. Your Majesty. How did it happen? Your Majesty. Diobi and I were on our way back from Okui when a little boy ran to us and told us that he saw some warriors of Umudekwa in our plantation and that they threatened to kill anyone from Umumbe who steps into the plantation. And when we got there to confirm, it was an order made by their king. That was what led to the fight. Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. 
That was how it happened. Ezibanda. Ezibanda, why are you jealous of me? Ezibanda, why? Why? Your Majesty, he is a frustrated king trying to claim our plantation simply because he's near to the kingdom. You know what? But we all know that the plantation is not a part of their land. No. Exactly. It is not. Iche Ugumba, what you say right now is correct. Eze Iwanda is a frustrated man. Maybe he has been cursed by the gods. That is the reason why their land does not have the same resources like us. Eze Iwanda is a hungry man. A hungry man is an angry man. Yes. Your Majesty, what do we do? We do nothing. Hey. He would. Nothing. Your Majesty, for him to have made this move simply means that he has other plans. What are you suggesting we do immediately? We do nothing. Hey. He would. You said there were five of them. Yes, Your Majesty. And you were just two. Yes, Your Majesty. And you killed two of their warriors. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. And the remaining three cowardly ran away. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Did I not say that our warriors are superior to theirs? Have I not proved my point? Mm. Have I not proved that Eze, Ebe Belu, Ugo Belu, is the most powerful king? <laughs> Have I not proved this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What has that got to do with our success? <laughs> you all are useless, good for nothing warriors. Can you imagine? Two of Umumpen warriors fought and killed two of you, and you cowardly ran away. Your Highness, what we saw back there proved one thing to us the people of Umumpen were fighting with the gods. Oh, shut up! You fool! You are a bunch of disappointment to this kingdom. Now get out of my sight. I said get out. Out! Out of my sight! Get out! Useless warriors. It's drop on issues discussed in this throne room. I'm sorry, my husband. I didn't mean to. But how could anyone be relaxed? In this um, palace, when the warriors ran in the way they did, we just wanted to know what was going oh, on. Oh, shut up. Shut up, you butch. How dare you? Please, uh, uh, please, father, please. I don't like the way you shout at my mother. What? Ogogwa, are you, are you questioning me? What manner of man are you? What kind of a king are you? Focus, concentrate on Omudinkwa and leave the people of Umumbem and their fortune alone. They are not the reason for your misfortune. Stop this jealousy. Ogogwa, I can see that you are green wings, but I promise you, I will clip them soon. It's a promise. Yes. Ezebanda, change from your evil ways. Change. Do not get me more upset. Please don't. Your Majesty. Please, calm down, I beg you. Warn your husband. Warn him! I shall not take that insult from him the next time. I am Eze Igbanda, and I have the secret staff of Ubangwada. Do not force me to place a curse on you with same. The staff of Ubangwada is sacred and belongs to the gods. 
you cannot use it to put a curse on a just man like me that is telling you the truth are you listening to your husband warn him before i destroy him and know that i have no son your majesty please i beg you just calm down They want me to stop. Impossible. They are fools who know nothing. Umumbem is blessed with lots of resources. When I, Isaac Banda, cannot even boast of one, would it be bad for me to own the plantation? Is it even up to order of their resources? Yet they say I am jealous and greedy. Stupid people. I must annex Umumbem. Yes, that is a must. Yes. I agreed with us when we concluded that we shall do something. But the king says we shall do nothing. Are you the one saying this? As if you don't know the kind of king we have. Ezebe Belu is not a serious man. Is it not obvious? I agree with you, Onowu. Ezebe Belu is not a serious king. Yes. You're right. But again, we cannot go against the king orders. Neither do we go against the king's approval. The king believes in his warriors. I do too. So let's be fearless and believe in the gods that nothing would happen to us. I think I see a sense in what you are saying. Certainly, we cannot disobey the orders of the king. Oh no, I think I share the same convictions with my brother Ichi. We should not be seen as a council that disobeys their king. Well, if you say so, I don't have a problem with that. I am not actually agreeing for anything, if not agreeing for the progress of this land. Let us wait on the gods and pray, on the understanding that Ezebanda will not make another deadly move. Father, you know we have to be very, very careful about Ezebanda. Son, not to worry. The man cannot do more than a dead rat. He is simply frustrated and jealous. Hmm. Well, we should thank the gods that we have great warriors in Ume and Diobi. Indeed, great warriors they are and they will be rewarded. As for Umudinkwa warriors, they know that they will dare not step their feet into that plantation again. Talk more of killing any of our people. That is all right. That is all right, Father. So, tell me, have you chosen a wife? <laughs> um, son, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. About me? Yes. About you. <laughs> Listen, the one who has your heart, has she given hers to you? Why? Why? Why do you always do this, Father? Why do you always avoid this? Father, to be honest with you, 
I do not like your relationship with women. You keep bringing women into this palace. Choose one and settle down with. Your relationship with women is unbecoming of a king. Prince Oseluka. Henceforth, you will live your life the way you please. And I forbid you not to talk about mine. I am regretting having him as a son. What sort of useless son is it turning into? What sort of useless son? Your Majesty, please. Please calm down. Why should I calm down? Why, how do you want me to calm down? Ogugwa must be careful of the way he speaks to me. Else I will kill him with my own hands. Now listen to me. The reason I am sparing his life is simply because of you. I am still that revered king. I can do whatever I choose to do. Yes. My king, don't mind them. You know I'm always in support of you. Whatever you choose to do, do it. Go. Go. Oh, my sweet daughter-in-law. That is why I always love you. <laughs> you are just special. Thank you. Thank you. you are a darling. See, I want you to know this. Your support is the only thing that is keeping me going in this kingdom. <laughs> your support is a thousand support. Yes. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, I, I should leave now. All right. <laughs> then tonight. <laughs> your Majesty. Beautiful maiden. I don't know why fate can be twisted this way sometimes. She should have been my wife. Yes, she should have been my wife. But the priest don't even know what he is having. Oh, tonight is going to be wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Because he is king, no one will tell him the truth. Son, the truth they say is bitter. What manner of man is he? Huh? All he talks about is Omumbem and their resources. What, 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 what? This is crazy. Mother, why would a king who rules over a people allow himself to be consumed by his innate desire to, to usurp what belongs to another kingdom. My husband, you should learn to respect your father. He is not just your father, but the king of this land. And you should... And telling him the truth, is that what you call disrespectful? Yes, my husband. You disrespect this man a lot, and it's not fair. Get out. I said, get out, leave my sight. Get out! Get out! What has come over you because you're my wife? You know my father better than I do? He has been my father before he became your father-in-law. Son. Mother. You must calm down and learn how to follow your father. I know him very well. He is capable of doing the unthinkable if provoked. And I want you to tell him that I'm equally capable of doing the unthinkable when I'm determined to fight for justice. Mother, you had me. That, that I should disfigure on Koya's face by pouring her hot water. Yes. That will cut whatever interest the prince has on her. Hey. Mother, that will be the height of wickedness now. Eh? Hello, too. Sometimes you have to be wicked to get what you want. Yes. 
Listen. It's very simple. Deceive her and bring her here. Ask her to wait for you while you go to the kitchen to do whatever. Then lift the water you must have kept boiling when you get to her. Act as if you stumbled upon something and pour her the water. Hey, calm down. Believe me. That will be seen as an accident. Mother. Yes. You would apologize to her that it was an accident. Listen, nobody will doubt you. Don't forget I'm very close to the king. So you have nothing to worry about. What are you thinking? Malutu, are you going to do it or not? Should I do this or not? What if the people do not believe me? No. Mother gave me an assurance. Yes, I have to do it. Prince Oseloka is mine and no one must stand on my way. The king is a womanizer. True or false? Ah. Have you suddenly gone dumb? Hey. You should learn how to mind your business. What other business should I mind if not what I'm doing right now? Hey, not also. The question is very simple. The king is a womanizer. True or false? Very simple. Well, my prince, most men like women, and it is inherent in them. I believe the king is not an exception. Hmm. I agree, totally. I like women. Well, you would also agree with me when I say that there is a big difference between liking women and being a womanizer. No, will you swear on your genitals eh, that you don't know the difference. Huh? You smuggle women in for my father. Almost every night. Yes. Can you deny that? Yeah? And when you bring the one he doesn't like, you smuggle that one into your room. Can we please have this meeting without his annoying intervention? Is it me? Is it me that we not also is called annoying? Oh my prince! Oh, my prince! Permit us to fight here and now! I see who, who, who will vomit blood. Enough! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, John! Hey, my prince. I have no problem with you. You are the king's special guard. The same guard who brings women in for him. Maidens. All I ask is that you advise him. Advise him to take one of these women and make his wife so that the women of Umumbem will have a leader. Understood? Yes, my prince. You have, you have. Yes, my prince. You can even apply your, your, your tangele if you can and see what the king's problem is. You have. Will you do it or should I do it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I told you. Mm. Is there where they look? Mm. Hold on. Can't believe me, so. 
Eze ebo ebe lo. Hu. Obulu mwa. Hmm? Anu mwa. Bo mwa mwa. Hmm? Makana mwa anya atoka. Hmm? Anya atoka. Let me tell you. Even the gods know that I love women. I know. I know. We we need to keep our voices low, you know. Um, don't you think I should go and come back at night? No, no, no. I will, no. I, this, I I am not expecting anybody. Oh. I am not expecting anybody. Not even the elders. Hmm? I'm not expecting anybody. Um, let me assure you, I'm going to be very quick. Is huh? <laughs> there? Come, come. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot explain what she was doing with the hot water. She came to my place and apologized to me. She said she wanted us to be friends again, which I accepted. That was all. Nkoni, how did both of you end up here? Okay, we came to her hut. She said she wanted me to help her with some house chores, which I accepted because she already apologized to me. She said I have to wait for her here whilst she go in to prepare the fire to make food for Ne. I was waiting patiently here. Suddenly, she emerged with a pot of hot water. I don't know what happened. She fell and it poured on her. I don't know what else. I don't know. I'm saying the truth, please. It's still like a dream to me. Nkoye, what exactly was she doing with the pot of hot water? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's just pray that the healer finds solution to the bond skin. M Mama, you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? I, it is my child that just got ruined. I'm devastated. That was how it happened, my prince. Hmm. That is very bad. Right now, I, I, I feel it's my fault. No. Nkem, please, do not say that. It is not your fault. Everything in life that happens, happens for a reason. Are you trying to say that what happened to Walutu was bound to happen? No, no, Kim. That is not what I mean. Please, don't call me that. Why? I am not yours yet. If you want to address me, call me by my name, Nkonye. Oh, then, then agree to be mine. Please. I am going crazy. Absolutely crazy about you. Accept my proposal. Say you will marry me, please. With due respect, my prince, I am really disappointed in what you just said. We should be talking about the accident that kept Walo to disfigured. Here you are proposing to me. What, what answer do you want me to give to you in this situation? Nkoye. Nkem. Please, my prince, let me go. Nkem. Says. Umumbem is blessed with so many natural resources. Mm. That explains the reason their king spends however he likes. He has excess money arising from his ever increasing kingdom revenues. Your Majesty, I, I know that already. That is it, Uzwame. And I know that you know that my kingdom is having a common boundary with Umumbem. Mm -hmm. Yet, their king could not give me any of those resources. Is it fair? Anyway, that is why I had to invite you so that you can help me. Your Majesty, how do you want Uzwame of Omambala to help you? 
You are the great masquerade of Omambala. I believe you. That is the reason I sent for you. I, I know that something could be done to annex Umumbem. That is the help I need you to render me. How do I do that? Leave Umumbem alone. What do you mean by that? You heard me. But, but, but why? Concentrate on your own resources. Yes. My sweet father in law. <laughs> you know you look very handsome each time you smile. And you are the only one that can put a smile on this mean face of mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I am glad. <laughs> Thank you. I hope no one saw you as we're coming in. Come on, my king. Don't you trust me anymore? I, I do. I am like a snake when I move at night. Oh. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm always happy whenever my husband and the queen travels out of the kingdom. Me too. And I hope they spend more time at Iguaro. Uh, but don't worry yourself about that. We have tonight. So let us enjoy ourselves tonight. That is the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, my king. Oh, well, that is my <laughs> queen. Yes. Oh, my king. <laughs> What was she doing with hot water? I wouldn't know, Father. It completely ruined her beauty. Her face, to be precise. Is it that bad? Yes. Yes, it is. Very bad, my king. I think you need to see things for yourself. God forbid. I will see no such thing. I... I only pity her more than Kendalim. And why would you pity her, father? What do you mean by that? <laughs> father, Waluto and her mother, Kendalim, I believe they are evil. Do not ask me my reason. It's just a thought. Something must have prompted you to reach that conclusion. What could that be? Nothing really, you know. And I say it's just instinct. Yes, instinct. Do not say what you do not know, my son. For you could have married her daughter. But in the present circumstance, such cannot happen. Not even in the dream world. Um, I, oh no. Yes, No, I really love her. I know I'm not supposed to be telling you this, but I cannot help it. Because I need your advice. Mm. What, what else can I do to win her to my side? My prince, there is something I want to ask you, and I, I want you to give it a critical thought. Then answer me sincerely. From the deepest part of your heart, do you really love her? Yes. No. From the depth of my heart. Then keep going for her. Don't give up. If you love her that much, keep going for her. That's what you do. Thank you. I believe um, the gods will do something for you. 
Thank you, no. Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> at least you're the father that I obviously do not have. Have a nice day. Away. But you said you were testy. Well, not anymore. Please, my just, just take the water and go. Go. Leave me alone. Are you happy now? Are you happy now that I have a, a, a meeting with a damaged face? Are you happy? Now my face is damaged because of my beloved mother. Just go. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Just go. Just go, leave me alone. Go, go. Does it not sound funny? Funny? Hmm. How? Almighty Walutu, who claims to be the most beautiful girl in Umumben, now has a disfigured face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How can you possibly find that funny? <laughs> Listen, it could happen hmm. to anyone. Then, come to think of it. I think what happened to Nwalutu wasn't ordinary. How? I think something backfired. Backfired? See, you know she wasn't in good terms with Okoye. But the very day she went to make peace with her, suddenly something happened to her that same day. Do I, does that make any sense to you? Chikodi. Eh? The only sense you've made is that Nkoni is responsible for Mwalutu's condition. Oh! I didn't think check over heart. I am so disappointed in you. You can say anything. Look, I am saying what I feel. I mean, she does not want the prince to be with any meeting. And she will not let him be with her. Hey! Nchekubi. Are you truly Nkonye's friend? My friends! My love. You stop it at once. Who is your love? I'm sorry, my prince. Curses. Don't you ever, ever try that again. Do you hear me? Yes, my prince. Chikode. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. How are you? Very well, thank you, my friends. Have you seen Nkonya today? No, I haven't. Very well. Kabe? Uh, uh, my uh, friends, I'm sorry. If I may, is there a problem? No, not at all. I thought I would find her here. I couldn't find out her father's hot. Okay, uh, maybe she went to get firewood. That is okay. Have a nice day. You too, my friends. Oh, is she? Inche, inche, hey, mama. Dear, don't take it to heart. Oh. <laughs> 
like I told you, no. When I see the woman to marry, I will know. By that, you mean that all the women you have seen already, the ones we presented to you, the ones you have mingled with, that you have not seen any of them qualified? None is qualified. So where should we find this one that is qualified? <laughs> I don't understand what it is. Your Majesty. No. Hey, we're not also. Your Majesty, there's a woman here to see you. A woman? Yes, Your Majesty. Who is she? Your Majesty, she said her name is Onubaje. Onubaje. That means she must be beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> um, where is she from? Your Majesty, she is from Umuitem Kingdom. Oh no. Umuitem. Bring her in. Yeah? Thank you, Majesty. Are you expecting anyone from home with No. No. Not at all. So why give the fellow a straight audience? Like this. Let us see. <laughs> yes, she's your majesty. Greetings. As is, as is your baby, you could I told you, she is beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Your Majesty. Take her. Get her entertained. Um. I will be with you shortly. Hmm? Uh, let me <laughs> let me round off my discussion quickly. Quickly, oh no, let's round off our discussion. Thank you. Uh, yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, well, what do you think of her? How do you mean? Is she not beautiful? What is going on, my king? To the best of my knowledge, you are meeting this woman for the very first time today. And already you are asking your no know his impression about her. What kind of thing is that? Oh no. Why do I keep forgetting? that you have this unrepentant link with the Stone Age. Why don't you just go stuck naked, crawl on all four, and jump into the bush? Do I have to remind you that that old world you keep undermining is better than what we have now? Then go there and live there. Eh? I am living in the present age. And in this age, Kotsi demands that a beautiful woman should be appreciated when you see one. Oh no, that woman of Umitem that just left here is beautiful. Uh, if you don't accept, refuse to eat anything when you get home. Now she is hiding from me. What do I do? Kaboya Dina, what do I do? My prince. My prince, I, I, I am already sick of being asked the same question. 
<laughs> my prince, can you permit me to give you the dear slap for asking me that? What did you just say? Uh, if it will solve the problem, why not? Uh, forget about Nkunye and look for another maiden. Yes, I I know she is beautiful, decent and well trained, but that shouldn't get into her head. It is obvious that she doesn't want us and we don't want her to. What nonsense. Kavi. My prince. What are we going to do? Hmm? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a very big fool to make yourself part of this. I want Nkunye, and I will always want Nkunye. Uh, I, I am sorry, my prince, if I have been misunderstood again. But I am telling you the truth. Huh? Are you not the, the, the prince of this land? The heir to the throne. A handsome man as well. Yeah? What will she keep avoiding you despite your efforts? Yeah? Yeah? Think. Think, my prince. Onye? Nene, it's me. Oh. Greetings, Nene. Greetings, my daughter. Walutu. <laughs> Walutu, please stop doing this to yourself. Remember, this is just an accident. <laughs> please. I believe the gods have their reason why they allowed this to happen to you. All you need to do now is to put everything behind you and hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> Please stop crying. Better tomorrow. Do I have a better tomorrow with this face? Okoye. Okoye, I am real. <laughs> I am real. No, no, don't say that. <laughs> you are not real. You can never be real. Nay, please help me tell her that she's not real. Please. <laughs> What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Why must this happen to me? Life has not been easy ever since my husband died. No friend to help. No family to help. At some point, I wanted to take my life. Before I heard about the benevolent king of women, then. And that's why I came to see if I could get any help from the throne. So sorry about that. So, so sorry about that. Thank you, Your Majesty. You made the right decision by stepping your feet into the palace of Eze, Ewebelu, Ugebelu, of Umumben Kingdom. Hmm? The help that you seek, that you will get. Thank you, Your Majesty. May the gods bless you. He said... You said you were pregnant for your husband before he died. Yes, Your Majesty. But I lost the child after the death of my husband. I'm so sorry about that too. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ono Baje. One thing I want you to know is that you will suffer no more. Thank you, Majesty. 
Um, not also. Your Majesty. Take her to Amaka, the rapper seller. Let her select some rappers for herself and do the needful. Okay, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. This is just the beginning. Thank you. That's the baby look of her. Thank you. Oh, no, my dear. Welcome to my world. I pity her. I really pity her. I mean, what breaks my heart most is that this incident happened exactly the same day she came to reconcile with me. And right now, I feel like I'm cursed. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, Ikoye, please don't say that. You're not cursed. Oh? You see, what happened wasn't your fault at all. You know, but, but, but Ikoye, are you just realizing that you're really cursed? Why would you say things like that? The prince has been begging you to be his wife. But no, you will not agree to that. And now beautiful Mwalutu has a ruined face. All because of you. Does that not show you that you are really cursed? Nchekube. Nchekube, you are crossing your limits. Nchekube, why are you calling my name? Were you not the one who said it first? I'm just helping you to complete it. Nchekube, what is wrong with you? Ogine me, what is wrong with you? Would you just stop saying provoking things? <laughs> provoking things. <laughs> Do not worry. Hmm? Don't worry. Just a little time. Hmm? And the prince will realize that he has been wasting his time wanting to make you his wife. Then he will concentrate on me. I will gladly accept it because I am ready to be his wife. Don't mind her. Make one move. You know, we have been friends for years. But I can't even tell if I know you well. Were you really talking to me? God of my ancestors. Yeah, How do you see this one? You have a body that fits all wear. <laughs> mm. Turn. Turn for me. Turn. There is no doubt that you are sent by the gods. Ebebelu Obulunwa. Huh? Nwa bu nwa nwa. Nwa nya toka. Huh? Go in and change into the other ones. Hmm? And keep me entertained. All right, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty. You have been quiet all the while. Is she not beautiful? That is not the case, Your Majesty. What then is the case? I am thinking of going into a serious relationship with that woman. Your Majesty, I feel something about her. How? I just can't explain it, Your Majesty, but something is not just right. 
You feel something about her. You can't explain it. What nonsense are you talking about? Well, Your Majesty, I applied the Otanjali Fitani that makes one a seer. And what I saw in her was not clear. That is strange, Your Majesty. And how many times have I told you not to apply the Otanjali Fitani? I do not believe in it. Please, Your Majesty, I will advise you to dismiss her and allow me to travel to Umwichem to investigate her. For what? Investigation. Oh, keep quiet. Keep quiet. There is no need for that. Hmm? A beautiful woman should be given all the attention she deserves. <sighs> Listen, Ewenatozo, I am thinking of marrying that woman. I, I am sorry, Your Majesty. Did you say you're thinking of making her your wife? You heard me. And I mean exactly what I said. <laughs> so this is why you stopped talking about the king of Umumbe. Exactly, my son. I'm so happy. I thank the gods. Father, you mean to tell me that you have no intentions to annex Umumbe and usurp their property? Exactly the point. That was the advice Uzwame of Omambala gave to me. He told me to forget Umumbem and focus on our kingdom. That I should always pray and open the gods for better days. May the gods bless Uzwame of Omambala. <laughs> Sincerely, I'm so happy about this. At least we are once again a happy family. Yes, that is very true, my daughter. <laughs> so father why didn't you tell us this all this while well I wanted you to find out first just like you did <laughs> I can't thank the gods enough for this father I am happy you are doing this um mother no Odin my love <laughs> this calls for celebration true <laughs> gods yes my prince Go to our backyard, pick a ram, kill it, for we have a lot to celebrate. Hurry up. Oh, Father, if, if you're like this, we, we won't have quarrel. <laughs> I thank the gods for restoring my father's senses. I told you he would realize and correct himself someday, didn't I? Yes, you did. Finally, <laughs> we are happy again. <laughs> um, what would I have done without you? And what would I have done without you too? You brought me happiness. <laughs> Thank you, my husband. Let's go inside. <laughs> 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 Please, my daughter. I was only trying to help you achieve your dream. I never knew it would result to this. Biko, mwam, biko. Achieve my dreams. Achieve my dream. Take a look at my face. This is what you wanted me to do to someone else. Now I am the victim. I don't even know why I listen to you. I don't know why I listen to you. No, neither the prince nor any other man will come for my hand in marriage. Mama, you have ruined my life. Please. You have ruined my life. Because, because, because. Biko, I beg you, Biko. Biko, Mwam, Biko, 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 for me, Biko. Biko, 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 Mwam, Biko. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
O que é bom e bom? Hã? O no badia não é? Ah, o malicha. A cuco. Hum? O que é bom e bom? Ah. O no badia não é? I am happy that I met you. Very happy. But you know what? We should have met earlier than this. <laughs> Your Majesty, uh -huh. don't worry. It has just begun. And that's what matters. Uh, you see, I... I don't want you to spend another night in that hut. Hmm? That is why I brought you to my private chambers. Because you know, special people should be given special places. Hmm? Your Majesty. Yes. You want me to share the same chambers with you? Do you have a problem with that? Your Majesty, I don't think it's right for me to do so yet. Who says it's not the right time? I just came in here yesterday. I never wanted to spend the night here. You made me do so by the wonderful way you received me. And now you want me to share the same chambers with you. What would people say? Who are the people? Your people, you, your son, the elders. Oh, no, Bajie. No, Bajie, forget about the people. Hmm? I am their king. Look, make yourself comfortable. All right? This will be your home in a short time. <laughs> Father, you, you mean she is the one you want to marry? The same woman of whom we them? How can you say that, my king? You barely know this woman. Oh no, what is there to know? Father, please. Please. <gasps> Father, please. I understand where Ono is coming from. This is a woman that just came here yesterday. And now you're saying she is the one you want to marry? Listen, I, I may not know a lot about the marriage. But surely, I know it does not work this way. Of course, it does not work this way. Why do I get this nauseating feeling that I am surrounded by difficult people? You all have been urging me to get married. And now I have made my choice and here you are trying to oppose it. Your Majesty, we are not opposing it. What we are saying is that you have to investigate this woman some more. Simple. Before thinking of making her your wife, that's what we are saying. Oh no, there is no need for such. I have made my choice and that is final.
Does it mean that I prayed with a spoiled colonel? Or what? Yeah? When would the gods allow me to start the day with nonsense? After the special prayer I made to them this morning. Wait, wait, wait. Kavi. Let me understand you clearly. I hope it is not my inkonye that you just referred to as nonsense. Hi. The ground upon which I stand will bear me witness that I will never buy cola not from Munyo Commando again. Because the ghost will never answer any prayer made with her cola not. It's not possible. Greetings, my friends. Greetings. <laughs> I hope you slept well last night. Oh, I did. Do you mind if I sweep your hands for you? Someone already did that. Thank you. All right, my friends. Can someone start talking, please? Why would she want to sweep her heart? Did you fall in love with her overnight? Kabe. You want me to break your head? Are you intoxicated by something this morning? How can I fall in love with the same woman that I have asked my father to send away from the palace? <laughs> Uh, but we should be happy that the king has finally chosen a woman to marry. Has that not been our prayer? Yes, that has indeed been our prayer. Hmm. But not this woman. No. I, I, I don't know. What am I even saying? I should be more concerned about my inkonye and not worrying about that umwitim woman. Oy, oh! Oh! Nkonye again! What, what, what nonsense? How will I set my eyes on that idiot, that idiot doctor that prepared the teacher on her? Come on, 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 Please, Your Majesty, you have to allow me to travel to home with them. Please. Hey, Natalza, why are you bothered? Why? You, Your Majesty, I am bothered because the Otanjali Fitani has never given me a blow vision. Never. It started with her and based on that alone, I have to travel to investigate her further, Your Majesty. Stop it. Hey, Natalza, how many times would I tell you that I am not interested in your so-called Otanjale Ifitiani. Yeah. Eh? Look, Onubaje is my wife to be, and nobody can stop it. Not even the gods. Yes. But funny enough, I have not touched her yet. Is it not surprising to you? That Eze Egbebelu Nebungwa slept with a woman all through the night and did not touch her anyway um, 
Anyway, anyway, anyway. That is because I am waiting for Odebo, the herbalist. You and I know that he traveled to Ukulu. And he will be back today. You see, when I told you, I want him to give me something special. Something that will help me satisfy Onubajie for the first time. You see, I want to give her something that she would remember for the rest of her life. I am listening, Anchekube. What is it you wanted to tell me? My prince, it's about Nkonyi. What about Nkonyi? I discovered she's been hiding from you lately. So? How is that your business? My prince, why not open your eyes and see that Nkonyi does not want you? So this is what you wanted to tell me? Yes, my prince. <laughs> I want you to open your eyes and see that I do not want you. There are many hardworking men in Umbem. Pray that the gods bring one of them your way. My prince, you must be a magician. <laughs> you called me exactly when I have finished this mission and I was about to come in. Have a nice day. How was your journey back? The girls are the owners of the rose. I'm glad they traveled with me. Let's get down to business. <laughs> um, you know you are the best herbalist in the whole of Umumbem. Oh, thanks to the girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, um, there is this woman that the God sent to me. Uh, she's beautiful. So, so beautiful. Uh, she, she's from Umuiten. And um, she said, she is going to do things to me in bed. <laughs> she is special. Very special. She has been with me in this palace for... Two days. For two see. days. Two whole days. And I have not touched her. Because I am waiting for you. I need you to give me something powerful. Hmm? <laughs> something strong. <laughs> that, that will make me to do wonders to her. Wonders that will make my memory last forever in her mind. Your Majesty, mm -hmm. did you say she's from Umitem? Yes. And she promised to do things to you in bed. Do you have a problem with that? I have been to Umitem Kingdom. I know their way of life. No widow of theirs you say a thing like that? What do you mean? Umuitan women 
are very decent. None of them will say to any man the kind of thing you said that she said to you. Talk more of a widow. I need to see her, Your Majesty. What for? The whole thing sounds strange. Please, Your Majesty, let me see her. Well, well, if you, if you insist, um, oh, well, not, no, 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 no. Uh, she's a special woman. Hmm? Let me get her myself. <laughs> Uh. Where is uh, Onubaji? Onubaji is not here. Or maybe maybe she's she's at the back of the house. Oh yes, let me check. My king, what is my king? Yes, you will reign forever. My king. Have you seen the special woman? I am not aware of any special woman, my king. I am talking about the beautiful woman from Umuitem. Have you seen her? <laughs> my king, I have not seen her. <laughs> Is there any problem, my king? Hmm? The bag is no longer there. Your Majesty. Where is the woman of the Umitem? Found. She's nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found? How? I went into the chambers to look for her and her bag and one of my elephant dogs is missing. It boils down to what I told you. That no widow of Umitem will say a thing like that. So? Your Majesty, stop playing with women. I'm Settle down with one as wife. Is this why I waited for you for two whole days? Two whole days for you to come back from Ukulu. Odebo, let me ask you. Who are you to advise me? Hmm? Who are you to advise me? Are you mad? Your Majesty. Yes, I ask again. Are you mad? Your Majesty. Now get out. Get out of my palace. Get out of my kingdom. Get out! Your Majesty. Get out! Get out! I couldn't find her, Your Majesty. That woman is not anywhere in this kingdom. Um, <laughs> Father, I am still trying to understand this. You mean she stole one of your elephant tusks and ran away? My problem is not with the elephant tusk. I mean, how could 
she be stupid to have stolen an ordinary elephant tusk? I was planning to marry this woman and expose her to power and wealth. Now look at what she has done. Ah, I'm totally disappointed. I'm totally disappointed. Your Majesty, I am short of words. Seriously. Hey, but Your Majesty, again, looking at it, I remember we warned you. We warned you about this woman, but you wouldn't listen to anybody. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't go there. Oh, no, this is not time to apportion blame. Hi. Hey, not also. Your Majesty. You will go to Umuitem tomorrow. I want you to thoroughly investigate this woman. I should have done this earlier. But I guess it's not too late. You may leave. What do you mean by that, Sinkonia? What do you mean? I am your father, and it is my responsibility to direct you accordingly. But I'm no longer a child. I'm a fully grown maiden now. Shut up! I'm being, uh, I said shut up! Have you gone out of your mind? A man like Princess Eloka has been asking for your hand in marriage, and you have not been able to give a specific answer. Whose daughter are you? Father, I haven't said anything reasonable to him because I am not ready for marriage now. I am not. I said shut up. Now listen. I, Ichiume, your father, cannot marry you. That is not possible. You better start giving a positive consideration to the princess's request. Else, I will vent my anger on you. What in the name of the gods is your problem, Okoye? Did I tell you I have any? No, you did not. So why the question? Why is it so difficult for you to accept the princess's proposal? It's not even like you have a reason. You don't. So why is it so difficult for you? <laughs> you really want to know? Yes. I want to know. That is because I am not ready yet. Oh, I'm not. There she goes again. She is not ready. You don't believe me? I don't understand you. Don't you believe me or don't I have the right to say what I want? You don't believe me? Yes, I don't believe you. Fine, Chikodili. You know what? Believe whatever you want to believe. Biko, Papa Maka. Hi. That was how it happened, my prince. Hmm. That is very bad. Right now, I, I, I feel it's my fault. No. Okay. Please, do not say that. It is not your fault. Everything in life that happens, happens for a reason. Are you trying to say that what happened to Walutu was bound to happen? No, no, Kem. That is not what I mean. Please, don't call me that. Why? I am not yours yet. If you want to address me, call me by my name, Nkonye. Oh, then then agree to be mine. Please. I am going crazy. Absolutely crazy about you. Accept my proposal. Say you will marry me, please. With due respect, my prince, I am really disappointed in what you just said. We should be talking about the accident that kept Walo to disfigured. Here you are proposing to me. What, what answer do you want me to give to you in this situation? Okay. 
Nkem. Please, my prince, let me go. Nkem. Curses. He's back from home with them. He's back? Yes. yes. Where, where is he? Uh, he's in the throne room with the king and uh, Ono. I hope you were not thinking about Unkonye. Oh, the gods will punish the native doctor that prepared the child. There is no widow called Onobajie in the entire Umuitem kingdom. Yes, Your Majesty. In fact, all the men of Umuitem confirmed what Odebode Habalis told you. That no widow of that land would try such a thing. Hey, does it mean she came from wherever she came from? Simply to steal an elephant cow from me? Same question I was about to ask Umu. You know, this is very, very strange. That is it. Um, I am very, very worried. Very worried. Hey, Natozo, there is no need to be worried. Hmm? There's no need to be worried at all. Oh no, what has happened has happened. What I know is that she will not meet a man like me again. She has just sold her marriage rights. And for that, she would remain single her entire life. If you mean to say we should just let go? Oh no. Let us let go. Yes. What has happened has happened. And life goes on. <laughs> yes. Life goes on. Yes. And I am going to order another elephant toss. <laughs> Why can't you believe me? <laughs> What's funny? So you want us to believe that the king, Ezebwe Belu, wants to spend the night with you? Ha. Why are you asking her to shut up? I wonder. The walls and ground have ears. <laughs> say what you want to say. Ah. See, I am serious. The king wants to spend the night with me. This night to be precise. And how did that happen? <laughs> Wait. I was on my way back from Wabufu's hut this afternoon. When I saw when I was on the king's special guy. <sighs> He called me and told me that the king likes me. And so? He said that the king could like to spend the night with me. Are you done? How? You mean just like that? <laughs> eh? Of course, yes. But he asked me to keep it a secret. Why I'm telling you is because you are my friends. 
Oh, Didi, are you done talking? Are you done entertaining us with your lies? Come on, Norma. I am not lying. Not lying. <laughs> Keep your lies to yourself. Ah, wait for me, Norma. My prince. My prince, I hope all is well. My prince. Surprised? This can be. The inconia that I know will never step her feet in this palace. Or draw possible. <sighs> this is really Nikonya, my prince. Nikonya. My prince, I have come to you with a request. A request? Yes, my prince. I want to spend the night in your hut. What? I know, man. I uh, I'm not sure I heard you clearly. <laughs> exactly what you heard, my prince. I want to spend the night in your hut. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't I do not get you okay I'm, I'm sure this is some kind of joke or prank no 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 my prince I'm very very serious I want to be sure of the man that is asking for my hand in marriage because I cannot marry a man that cannot satisfy me in bed your performance will determine if I will accept your proposal as my husband why are they selling only useless color notes in this kingdom? Huh? What abomination did I hear? What abomination? I know, man. To fear again. I am so happy and equally confused at the same time. Fear, what is wrong with you? To fear what to fear, that's all you have been saying. Talk to me, say what something. Do you, what, what do you want me to say? Yeah? You want me to ask you to do what she said? Bano. To fear. To fear again. Huh? I never knew Nkonye was like this. I thought she is the most decent among the maidens. What is wrong with you, Kabe? You heard what she said. That my performance will determine if she would accept my proposal or not. This, this is the miraculous opportunity that I have been waiting for, and I must utilize it. Really? Yes, really. But first, I have to see. I have to see Odaligo, the great seer. I can't believe this. So you are going to involve a seer in this nonsense? It is not nonsense. I, what is wrong with you? I have to see him to ensure that this is right. I can't believe this. Are you serious with this? I am very serious with this. As a matter of fact, I am on my way there now, and you are not coming with me. Why? Because I need you to stay back and entertain her. My prince, I am your guard, and I am not a clown. <laughs> Without mincing words, Kabe, you are nothing but an unrepentant clown. Every day I ask myself, I ask the gods why? Why? Why punish me with this fool of a personal guard? If she asks, tell her that I'm with my father. No one now, he has not been listening to me. He sees me as a, as a clown. No, pa! Not a clown. Not a clown. Pa! Not a clown. Ah! <laughs> 
Why is your face like this, Kabonye? Fear again. Fear away again, Nkonya. I never knew you were like this. Yeah? I thought you were a decent and a responsible maiden. I never knew you were like this. Yeah? I even crit criticized other maidens, not knowing you were the worst. Shiawa. Kabonye. There is nothing abominable in what I'm asking the prince to do. Like I said earlier, I wouldn't want to marry a man that cannot satisfy me in bed. Hi, you girl. And to be honest with you, Kabonye, Hi. I like Prince Oseloka. It's just that I've not been bold enough to tell him about this. I believe in one man, one woman marriage. For me not to have the mind to cheat on my husband when we finally marry. So that is why I have come to him to prove himself to me. What wrong have I done? Huh? Yes. <laughs> you won't cheat. Eh? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And that is it, Odalego. I am I am very happy but equally very very confused because I never expected such from her she's a different breed of maiden she thinks differently from other maidens behaves differently too also very very principled and very decent that is why I'm very confused is this is this normal Eke Unquo Afo Ori It is normal, Prince Osaloka. There's nothing wrong in the prince satisfying a maiden who desires to be satisfied. That will not affect you in any way if you do so. <laughs> this thing that you just said now has wicked me. <laughs> but that's the truth. Eh? Ah, my prince. <laughs> My prince, you two were discussing. Uh, yes, my prince. You asked me to keep her entertained, and that's what I've been doing. <laughs> He's very funny. Mm. Indeed, he is. That's good. <laughs> Are you done meeting your father? Oh, yes. Yes, my, my love. I am really, really sorry for keeping you waiting. It's all right. Shall we? <laughs> of course we shall. But, I would have to have a quick word with my guard here. I'll be glad if you can wait for me inside. It's alright. I'll be waiting. See you soon. Alright. I, I hope this is not a dream. Of course it is not my, my, my place. If it were, I would have woken you up. <laughs> Gods of my ancestors have made my dream come true. Exactly, exactly. Hey! Even, even Odaligo, Odaligo has given me his go-ahead. <laughs> even me, Kabo Nade na Ona Anabie, Obuko Nabade, I have given you a go-ahead on that too. And what has brought about a sudden change of heart? My prince, there is something she said to me that made me believe she is the right maiden for you. <laughs> <laughs> you? Yes. Kabo Nade na? I believe you. My prince, you better go, uh, go inside and satisfy her before she changes her mind. <laughs> I am very, very glad about this. Yes. Very glad. One more thing. Hey, what, what, what? I will make sure I make her pregnant this evening and then marry her. Wait, 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 wait. 
Sorry, sorry. Ni čo? I have reasons to believe you've been spending time with men. <laughs> Why will you say it in like that? Today is the first time you're interacting with me. Mm. It is wrong for you to have that impression about me. Well, I'm sorry if what I said made you feel bad. But sincerely, as one who works closely with the king, you should trust me to know women inside out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have anything to say about that. You have well made the opportunity to be with the king. I don't need to tell you that I came prepared. So why am I here talking with you, not the king? Don't be in a hurry, my dear Ndidi, for you will spend this night with the king. And you will have the opportunity to do to him whatever you want. But first of all, you must know how to truly satisfy the king. Oh, really? I am ready to hear all that. I really want to satisfy the tall, handsome king. Who has the revenue of the kingdom at his disposal? <laughs> I think I like that. What do we call this? I am. I'm really confused. You're confused? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. Please. Give me more time. I am sure it will rise. <laughs> I should give you more time? Is that what you said? So, had it been I agreed to marry you without making this move, I would have gotten married to an impotent man? No, no. no. I am not impotent. Believe me, I am not. You are not impotent? No, I am not. So why has your manhood refused to rise? Notwithstanding all my efforts. That shows you're impotent. My friends, fat you up in my pillar. So you enjoyed it, huh? Yes, I did. In fact, no man has ever done it like you just did. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad. So, you ready for the next round? Serious? Now? Yes. Right now. <laughs> no. No. No, Kim. I am not impotent. Believe me, I am not. If you're not, then come into me. I'm ready for you. Okay. <laughs> Father, my manhood could not rise. It was limp to the core. I am confused. I am so scared and so confused because this has never happened to me before. Say something, Father. Help me. I've tried. I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling me. What is happening to me? What? Oh. Ah. Hey, what is this? I can try. 
You don't understand. I know myself. Why don't we try with this? Oh, one? it's not working. It has refused to get up. I know myself. I don't need help. I, I, I can try. Nothing. You don't understand. Oh, it's as if there is nothing here. So let's try one spoon. Mm -mm. Wait, you don't. Look, what is your problem? I'm talking about something serious. You think I'm joking? I'm the one that is missing it. Look. Hey! 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 You mean the same thing happened to you too? What is going on? I don't know. I don't know, son. I, I am confused myself. Could it be that someone tampered with our manhood? Who? I don't know. This, 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 this is... This is strange, to say the least. Father, Father what, what do we do? We will first keep this to ourselves. And then we... We'll try and find a solution. Please, my daughter. Forgive me. I've never been myself all this while. I am full of regret. And I hate myself for putting you in this condition. I, I wanted the best for you. But I became obsessed with it. I never knew it would turn out this way. Because one, oh, they are Oh, Mama, Mama, look at me. Mama, look at me. Am I not better off dead? Do I even get to enjoy my life anymore? Because stop. No, forgive your mother, Miko. Maybe the gods allow me to stumble upon that stone to punish me for her intention. No, your intention, it was your intention. Yes, yes, yes. Now I get to lose everything. I've lost everything. Even the Nedo said that was coming for me before has warned me to stay away from him. I have lost everything. I have lost everything. Miko. <laughs> Forgive me, bro. Oh. I, I never knew it would turn out like this. Biko, 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 he did not rise. I mean, it's very, very obvious to me that Prince Olise Loka is impotent. Because there is no man, a woman will touch exactly the way I touched Prince Olisa, that would not respond. Yay! How could you have born to the prince with such dirty intentions? I am so disappointed in you. How do you mean? What do you mean by dirty intentions? Who would have thought that the very princess Oseluka is impotent if not for the beautiful move she made? Huh? huh? Really? Yes, really. She called it really. <laughs> mm -hmm. She did the right thing. Actually, Chikode, that wasn't my intention. But I wanted to be sure of the man that wants to marry me. Like I've always said to you girls. I will never get married to a man that will not satisfy me in bed. I don't want to make that mistake. Me too. My sisters, me too. I cannot marry a man that will not satisfy me. The gods forbid. I told him that his performance would be the only thing that would make me accept his proposal and be his wife. But he's not strong. The prince couldn't do anything. And I wouldn't want to cheat on my husband because of that. Hello. And it's not even that he tried and he performed poorly. 
But I tried everything I could, yet he couldn't stand. And because of this singular condition of his, my sisters, I cannot and I will never marry the prince. Me too. I cannot marry such a man. Hey! Prince Oseluka, so you are not even man enough. Nkonyo, you did the right thing, me. Hey! So I could have ended up with an impotent man. Oh, gods of our land, I thank you for this revelation. I even went to Wadiogwa, the woman fertility doctor, to drink some herb that will make me fertile that night. For the king to make me pregnant, only to discover that the king is not even a man. What? Why is this sounding like an abomination to my ear? It is indeed an abomination, for his manhood refused to respond. You mean the king's manhood couldn't stand? I was shocked and disappointed. So you meant it when you said the king wanted to sleep with you? Oh, you thought I was joking? Anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is that your king, Eze Ebebelu Gobelo, is an important man. But how come? But the king has been sleeping with too many women. So I was told. <laughs> My dear, I am not in a position to explain anything. For I was with him that night and his manhood refused to respond. Hmm. Your Majesty, you look happier these days. May the gods who have made me a happy man be praised. May they be praised. Oh, yes. I'm happy that you are happy. Thank you. At least now we'll be living peacefully. No fights and no quarrels. Gone are those days. Greetings, happy. Your Majesty. <laughs> Greetings, Londo. Greetings, my daughter-in-law. <laughs> You're back. Yes, Londo. Welcome. Thank you. So, where is your husband? He will soon be here, Your Majesty. So, how did it go? It went well. Wayne Kweli assured us that we would have our own child. Oh, thanks to the gods. Very good. The gods will surely give you not just a child, but children. You say. <laughs> <laughs> I should be the one married to him, not her. At last, we're now a happy family. We're going to be grandparents. <laughs> Consider the fact that I was standing there. You were just, just hugging and holding oh, her. Come on, Namulika. You should know that she's my wife. Oh, so? Listen. No matter what happens, you remain my priority. Is that understood? Yes. I have to go back to the throne now. It's okay. What are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? Um, oh, I, I, I was actually looking for one of my earrings. I, I lost it yesterday. I don't know the exact spot it. Your it's earrings? Yes, my love. Okay. Was my father here? Um, no. I mean, what will the king be doing here at this time of the day? Hmm. I thought I heard his voice. Welcome. Oh, 
Are you now hallucinating? Mm? <laughs> I want to be with you now. Well, that sounds good. Um, what about my earring? Forget it. <laughs> Shame on you, Amobi. Shame on you. You are a useless man. A good for nothing thing. Look at you. What, what is all this? Eh? Why are you pouring all these insults on me as if it is my fault? Is it my fault? Then whose fault it is? Mine? Look at you. Look at yourself. Useless man. Um, um, uh, 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 Akuchi, uh, Akuchi, have you forgotten so soon? Have you forgotten when I used to, to satisfy you in bed? Have you forgotten that? That was then. What is happening now? How will I know? Hey. My manhood does not rise again. Eh? I don't know the reason. Hey, you don't know the reason? No, I don't know. Wait, let me tell you the reason. The reason is that you slept with another woman. Who gave you this disease you are carrying about? What? Stupid man. That is the reason your manhood won't stand anymore. Stupid Akuchi. man. Don't call my name. Akuchi. Don't call my name. Akuchi. Don't call my name. Useless man. I know what to do. Since you won't do your job as the man of the house anymore, I know what to do. I will teach you a lesson in this house. You will come in and meet me. Stupid man. Look at you. This is not funny anymore, Nanya hmm. Mugi. I tried the whole night, and his manhood refused to respond. The same thing happened yesterday. I can't take this anymore. Why am I having the feeling that something is wrong with our men? How do you mean? Hmm. My husband is having the same problem you are talking about here. Nkolika was here. She and her husband are experiencing the same problem. What is going on? It's, 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 what is wrong with our men? You mean our own uncle yes. is experiencing the same thing? Yes, yeah, the same problem. Hey! <sighs> what do we call this then? I just don't know. I just don't know. I am confused. I don't know what to do. Something is wrong somewhere. Yes. Ah, I want to know more. I will just listen to Akuchi. And I am okay. The problem is general. How do you mean? What did you hear? The problem is not only the young men, even older men are not experiencing erection anymore. What is happening? This is serious. What is happening? It has been confirmed that not one man in this land can experience erection again. Igui, Indiche. What is happening? Honestly, I do not know what to call this. Man without erection. It has never happened in this land before. Hmm. I am so confused. A man who cannot experience erection is considered to be a woman. That means we no longer have men in our kingdom. Exactly. This is very strange. And it is obvious something is wrong somewhere. I am suggesting that we do something as men that sit in council before it is too late. So, what do you think? Your Majesty, it is not about what I think. It is about what we must do immediately. And I am suggesting we invite Obuefi Mobuzo, the chief priest of this kingdom, who is the eye and the ears of the gods. He has to come and explain things to us. It is possible that an abomination has been committed and the gods 
have turned against us. Yes. Obuevi mwa buzo. Akata akamoke janyi isi. Odogu. Odogu. I welcome you once again. I am perpetually convinced that men are nothing without the gods. Why have I been summoned before the elders and council? Obuefi Mwabuzo. I will go straight to the point. No man, absolutely no man in Umumbem is experiencing erection. That means we are all impotent. Eye of the gods. I want you to lead us to an atonement sacrifice to Anambem, the central deity of our people. For we believe that we have sinned against the gods. <clears throat> The gods are not angry with anyone yet. They only allowed what happened to happen because they wanted the men of this kingdom to make the move they have just made. Elders in council, the gods are not angry. Hey, oh, oh, no. I don't understand. What then could be the problem? Do you still remember a man you once invited to this palace named Okeke Noroka? Okeke Okeke Maruka. I know why you sent for me. You have been afflicted by a deadly disease from a strange woman. And it has continued to weaken you. So your God told me. Okay, Ken Maruka. The great medicine man of Umweze Anam. You are right. My main problem is that I do not know the particular woman who gave me this disease. How will you know? <laughs> How will you know? <laughs> when you change them like rappers every night. The news of your sexual escapades has reached my sacred kingdom of Umwezanam. We have seen men. Yes, but we have never seen one who loves women the way you do. Okay, Ken Noruka. Please don't go there. Don't go there. For three days now, I have not managed to urinate with ease. Your ancestors are whispering something in my ear. Oh, tell my ancestors to keep quiet. Tell them to keep quiet. I am the one in pain. They are comfortable where they are. Please help me. Okay. I will give you a medicine that will flush the deadly fluid from your body. Perhaps that is when the message from your ancestors will become very clear to me. You will be fine. I assure you. Thank you. Take me to the royal kitchen. You will be fine, Igwe. You will be fine.
Ini gue. Abe. I prepared this medicine from the finest of herbs that I got from your kingdom. Uh, you have to drink it at intervals. I have prepared a pot of it. And I assure you that by sunset tomorrow you will be fine. Drink. You go no no no. Is it a bomb or a gun? I don't know. Take the cup from him. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you, okay, Ken Naruka. Of whom is Anama? I have never had this kind of experience before. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. That I heard your ancestors whispering into my ears. Must we talk about my ancestors? Yes. We must. We must, Debebelo. They have given me a message. And I must deliver the message to you. What is the message? Your ancestors have warned that apart from the disease you could get from women, uh. that one of them will steal a sacred material from this palace. The absence of that material uh. will possibly lead to the collapse of your kingdom. The gods will turn their backs at you and you will lose the throne. I know you as a great herbalist. Are you also a seer? Yes, Webelu. I say things the way I see them. Please, endeavor to warm that pot of medicine. And make sure the Igwe drinks it at intervals. I vouch on my honor. You will be fine by dusk tomorrow. Okay, Ken Naroka of Umezanam. I will not say anything yet. When I am healed, I will surprise you. I will be waiting, Igwe. I will be waiting. Evanata, <laughs> please see me off. <laughs> I will be waiting. You will be fine, Igwe. <laughs> Ewenatozo. What do you think, Your Majesty? Why are you bothered, Ewenatozo? Okeke Noroka is only uh, a healer, not a seer. So, Your Majesty, you mean to tell me that you didn't believe anything he said? Well, initially I was shocked by what he said. But after a while I dismissed it when he left because I soon realized that Okeke Noroka is a healer and not a seer. You see, we have seers in... Umumbem. Eh? And that includes you like you claim. So if there is any danger in what Okeke Noroka said, you would have seen it. Hmm? Well, Your Majesty, I am just um, very worried because Okeke Noroka is not a man to be dismissed just like that. Listen, Ewan Atozo. Hmm? You don't need to be worried. You don't need to be bothered. Hmm? Listen. Your king is back to action. <laughs> the medicine that Okeke Noroka gave me has turned me to a teenager. Oh, thanks. Yes! <laughs> In fact, I am hale and hearty and strong. Mm. Mm? Your Majesty. Anna Chigata Gomnegu. You know I have been missing... <laughs> See, let me tell you. You start making arrangements for the night. Uh, hmm? I must sleep with a maiden this night. Uh, no problem, a beautiful majesty. maiden. No problem, hmm? Your Majesty. In fact, get me a virgin so I can be sure. No problem. Eh, when I thought so. Oh, thanks, uh? Your Majesty. <laughs> Your majesty. <laughs> I shall reward you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
what Okeken Noroka said has finally happened. The problem we have in this land is that one of the strange women you brought into your chambers has stolen the offer Ijele. The absence of the offer is the reason the men of this kingdom are still suffering. What? <laughs> is this not the same thing we have been warning you against and you will not listen to anybody? Finally, it has become a problem for the kingdom. Ha! Is a baby loo. Ah. Women are the sweetest things on earth. Have you seen where it has landed us? This is bad. So, is a it has been your fault all along, Father. Hey. I warned you. Father, we warned you. Mba. Ha! Hmm. What happened? Is this not the Ofoi jelly? I still can't believe I did this to myself. I don't even step out of this compound anymore. Talk more of associating with people. Oh, gods of my ancestors. What kind of life is this? What have I done to myself? I shouldn't have listened to my mother. Because this wouldn't have happened to me if I had allowed Nkoye to have the prince. Now I have lost the prince. And every other man. Yes. Because no man would ever come to me with this horrible face of mine. I am now useless. Very useless. Can you please explain this to us? Is this not the same of free jelly that you said is missing that we are looking at here? How could you? How could you lie to us and accuse my father the king falsely? I am highly disappointed in you, Obwefi Mobuzo. Obwefi Mobuzo is only a priest and not a seer. What is my pot doing in front of my heart? Eh, that 
is the, the same question I've been asking the port. Uh, 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 let me ask it again. Port, what are you doing outside here? You see? It has refused to talk. Now listen to me. Don't you ever trespass into my heart again. What is that supposed to mean? Eh? I told you I made this port here. You warned. Car! Go with that nonsense! Nonsense. Fake or tangible vitane. You claim it practically makes one a seer when you, when, when you apply it. Yeah? Nonsense. Fake. Did I say anything when I apply it? Nothing. Fake. Nonsense. Hmm. Lele. Ah, you idiot. You idiot. Is it not something that I did? Mm. Mm. Idiot. Idiot. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, you want to scare me or what? Yatamata? Yatamata? Your mother ran away and left you and your father when you were young. To Iroquois, to live with another man, of course. Simply because your father could not provide her all she needed. Kabe, true or false? I ask you again, is this not the Ofo Ijele? Can I have it? Why? We shall be going with it to the central deity of our land. I ask again, why? Because that is what the gods want us to do, Your Majesty. It's not your point, Jelly. <laughs> what do you mean that this is not the Ofo Ijele? 
Obuefi Mwabozo. Are you blind? <laughs> Your Majesty, do you still remember a woman named Onubaje? Father, it's not the same woman from Umuitem who stole one of your elephant tusks. It's a woman. Onubaje had Oh no, but yeah. And what about her? She lied about her identity and equally lied that she is from Umuitem. Her real name is in Keroka. And she is also a woman of Umudenwa. Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh. A spy sent by Eze Manda to steal the offer. Jele. He knew that your foy jelly is the reason we are more prosperous than their kingdom and other kingdoms around us. Since she left with your foy, your majesty, you have been an empty king. Your emptiness is what has affected all the men of this kingdom. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was something behind the Onuwaje of a woman. Now have you heard it, father? But my prince, we want your father. We want our king, but he will not listen to anybody. Oh no. Is that the same woman from whom we them you told me about? The same woman? Yeah. Is, is she alone, but as you can hear now, the woman is not from Umuitem, but the woman of Umudimkwa. Our oh. number one enemy kingdom. Mm. I will not finish. I finished. <laughs> ah! There is another problem. Eh? Yeah. 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 What kind of a king are you, Ezebebun? All you do is to go after women, not minding your position as a king and husband. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Mind your words, Odoziako. Don't speak to me in that manner again. Else, I will deal mercilessly with you. I am not cowed by your empty threats. You are a shameless king. Huh? A man like you cannot command the tiniest of spiritual powers. Greetings, father. Son. You're back already from uh, Umato. Yes, Father. I, I knew you would be surprised. <laughs> I am. How was your journey? Well, we thank the gods. Why are you standing? Sit. No, no, Father. I, uh, I have to go see Nkonya at this moment. Oh, my son. You are really in love with that maiden. Yes, Father. Oh. Well, um, have you seen your mother? No, I haven't. Um, she is sleeping at the moment and I do not want to disturb her. I will see her when I return. She is sleeping? Yes, Father. Father. Ah, my son. Go and see the one who has stolen your heart. Hmm?
Onowu. Yes, sir. Banda is a poor and jealous king. There is nothing he can do. You are right, my king. The more he hates us, the more we keep progressing. But we have to be very careful with that man. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. You see, um, we will not... My prince, is there a problem? Prince Oseluka, what is the matter? What is the matter? Speak! I command you! Mother is dead! Hey! Wait. I felt she had slept for too long. And then I went in to check on her. Only to realize that she is no longer breathing. She is no longer breathing. Say something. Hey! Mother! 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 Please! Please say something! Mother, please! Mother! Mother! Gave a cow to Ozume of Amambala for suggesting this operation. Oh, yes, I did. So, what then do you offer me? The elegant Kiruka that executed the job. My ever elegant and Kiruka, the woman of my land that has bore so deep into the heart of the king. And your perpetual partner in crime. Oh, you can say <laughs> that again. Um, and Kiruka, you know what? I promise you that your reward is going to be massive. My king, your son confronted me yesterday. He did? Yes. And from what he said, he is not happy that we brought Ofoijele back here. Kiruka, you know what? Forget about that arrogant son of mine. He is not dreaming big, and sometimes I wonder how I gave birth to such a weakling. My king, is he really a weakling? Of course he is. Because I don't think so. He is an integral part of the politics in this kingdom. I am bothered that he is not part of us in this quest to annex Umumbem. Thank you, Ruka. Listen. If you can forget about my son and focus, I will tell you what you stand to gain in this. The first thing is for you to think of yourself first in anything. Forget about the second person. That is the ancient secret to success. I really need you to understand my reasons for this. What do you want me to understand? There are many routes through which one can attain greatness, and this is one of them. Let me ask you, Father, how did you do this? How did I do what? How did you get the official true Kiruka? You should be thanking your stars for having a father like me who can practically solve all problems. No, no, no. I won't do that. That is not the advice I want from you. All I want from you is to tell me how I can annex Umubem. Your Majesty. Do you insist? Oh, yes, I do.
There is only one way to that. Which is? Your Majesty, you need someone that will steal your fee jelly from Umumbem. Ofoi jelly is the reason Umumbem is prospering more than all the kingdoms around her. If you can get a hold of that of Ijele, Umumbem will collapse. And I will tell you immediately that I am interested. How do I go about it? <laughs> Ezebuebelu Ugobelu is a king that cannot do without women. If you can get a woman that will lay hands on that of Ijele, Make sure she brings it out of that kingdom. And I can tell you that the kingdom will collapse immediately. Oh. Umudimkwa is a land of maidens. I will search and I know that I will find. Get that woman and everything will fall in place. I want you to know that this mission is very crucial to me. It is a matter of life and death for me. And I chose you in Kuruka because I know that you are a woman of outstanding beauty. Thank you, my king. No one can resist the urge of endlessly staring at you with admiration. Talk more of the king of Umumbem. He has already donated his soul in the inner temple of women of loose ties. My king. You sure have a way with words. Thank you. Trust me. I can deliver on this mission. I want to equally believe that you can keep a secret. Yes, my king. I am at your service. Remember, you are no longer in Kiruka, but Onu Baje, a widow of Umitem. Yes, my king. Trust me or not, I know what to do. If you take the instructions as given, you will succeed in this. And trust me, the reward will be massive. I look forward to that, my king. So that is it, my son. Come on, son. I have told you over and over again that you look ugly when you are angry. You better stop that. And again, the absence of their four in Umumbem has made their men impotent. What? Yes. They are now a barren kingdom. Absolutely vulnerable. Gods of my land. Father. What is it? What have the people of Umumbem? What have they done to you? Why are you this mean and heartless? Heartless? Yes, heartless! I don't think I am, son. I only wanted a share of their resources. Besides, we are both neighboring kingdoms, are we not? They are supposed to see us as their brothers, but unfortunately they don't. Since they will not even allow me take that small timber plantation that lines our boundary, I have no option other than to explore the evil that is in me. Okay. You have made your decisions. Oh, yes. This plantation that you speak of, who planted it? Who does it belong to? Umumbem or Umudinkwa? Umumbem, of course. Then why are you on it? It does not matter. We are supposed to be brothers. Besides, they've had enough of this plantation. They ought to have stayed away long ago. But you, you are mean. You are mean! I don't understand. What are you talking about? Father, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy! What did you just say? I said this is crazy, Father. You are mean! This is heartless! They have more than us. Oh, are you a fool? I will not have you talk to me like that, Father. I can see those wings of yours have refused to stop growing. But I promise you, I will clip them for you very soon. I know that you are mean. I know that you're wicked. I know that you are evil. 
but I am not afraid of you. Get out of my sight. Get out. I will go. But I am not leaving because you asked me to. I am leaving because I am tired of inhaling a foul breath of an evil man. Get out. Out! Nonsense. He lied to us. Is he not evil? Obi, don't say that. The king is not an evil man. I think he's only doing the right thing. You should support him. What did you say? Angoleka. Mother, wouldn't you prefer to have a wealthy royal family in Umudengwa? Do you hear what she said, mother? My love, I am only stating the facts. One more word from you. And you would regret the day you agreed to be my wife. Mother, I... Just keep quiet. Father must return the offer to Umumbem. He must return it. As a wonder, gods of our land, I hope you're seeing all this. Oh, I, I can't believe this, Kabe. I hate him with the passion. Uh, my prince, I, I understand your anger. I understand your anger. I'm no longer your prince. I, I, I don't care about that. You remain my prince. Please take it easy. Says, do not tell me to take it easy. How can I take it easy? How? He killed my mother! And now we all are impotent because of him! You're telling me to take it easy. What am I saying? I haven't forgot he's no longer the king. That is it! He has lost the throne. He has lost the throne that I would have sat on in the future. Now I am no longer prince and cannot claim royalty. All of this makes me mad! Mad! Hi. Hi. So how do we keep living without a king in Umumbem? Eh? Well, first, your foyjili must be returned to our land. As a wonder is not willing to release it to us. And we cannot wage war against them while they have the offer. I don't know what to do. Mm. I don't understand. Are we supposed to are we supposed to remain impotent forever? Hi. The gods we hear our prayers. I hope they do. So, how about your father, my prince? What? What about the evil man? Remember, he is down with a strange illness, and you've not even gone there to see him. Strange illness. Funny how he was not struck with that strange illness since. Now, all of a sudden, he is struck with it. And no herbalist in this kingdom wants to go and heal him. I'll tell you what. The gods of our land are punishing him for his sins already. But, 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 but the gods asked him to abdicate his throne, and he obeyed. Gods are unpredictable. Yes, what exactly are you trying to say? Why not go straight to the point? Okay, oh yes, let me go straight to the point. Today made it four years that your late wife, Lolo Odoziako, passed on. Yes. Your Majesty, we have been waiting for you to make a move towards finding a replacement in form of having a new wife. 
but you are not making any move towards that your highness you are not telling us the truth that can be uh -uh. it's not possible your majesty and what do you mean by that Ichi Aroma? your highness there is no way you can tell us that you've not seen a woman to marry there is no place you can place such argument anywhere in the world it's not possible honestly your majesty Ichi Aroma is wrong Why do you give me the impression that you all have been meeting behind me? Why? Your Majesty, you are getting it wrong. We have not done any such thing. We are only telling you the truth. Your Majesty, there is a vacuum in the leadership of women of this kingdom, and it is already creating a problem in the land. Just the other day, I was taking a walk with Ishia Gwalonye here. And we ran into these two women that were fighting, practically on the verge of killing themselves, mm. over a little matter that could have been resolved amicably. And we started asking questions. Had it been they had a leader, would they not be scared of their leader and not, and not misbehave? Exactly, Your Majesty. And you, as king, knows that the women of Umumben need a leader in order to be properly organized why are you why are you all making it look as if it's all my fault oh, yeah we do respect your majesty it is your fault no it's my fault your majesty it's my fault because you have refused to remarry you need to have a wife so that the women of this kingdom will have a leader that's what we are saying and how many times have i told your wife Mwakalo, to become the women leader are you not the owner of this kingdom? Why is not understanding this? That is unacceptable, Your Majesty. Are you know? Your Majesty, please. I appreciate this offer that you made for my wife to be the leader, but I humbly decline. Because it does not just make sense. The leader of the women of Umumbem must be the wife of the king. Father. You know, we have to be very, very careful about S.C. Banda. Son, not to worry. The man cannot do more than a dead rat. He is simply frustrated and jealous. Hmm. Well, we should thank the gods that we have great warriors in Umi and Diobi. Indeed, great warriors they are. And they will be rewarded. As for Umudinkwa warriors, they know that they will dare not step their feet into that plantation again. Talk more of killing any of our people. That is all right. That is all right, Father. So, tell me, have you chosen a wife? <laughs> Um, son, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. About me? Yes. About you. <laughs> Listen, the one who has your heart, has she given hers to you? Why? Why? Why do you always do this, father? Why do you always avoid this? Mother, to be honest with you, I do not like your relationship with women. You keep bringing women into this palace. Choose one and settle down with. Your relationship with women is unbecoming of a king. Prince Oseluka. Henceforth, you will live your life the way you please. And I forbid you not to talk about mine. Like I told you, no. When I see the woman to marry, I will know. By that, you mean that all the women you have seen already, the ones you presented to you, the ones you have mingled with, that you have not seen any of them qualified? None is qualified. 
So where should we find this one that is qualified? <laughs> Your Majesty. Mm. Hey, not also. Your Majesty, there's a woman here to see you. A woman? Yes, Your Majesty. Who is she? Your Majesty, she said her name is Onubaji. 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 That means she must be beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> um, where is she from? Your Majesty, she is from Umuitem Kingdom. Oh no. Umuitem. Bring her in. Yeah? Thank you, Majesty. Are you expecting anyone from Umuitem? No. No. Not at all. Why give the fellow straight audience like this? Let us see. <laughs> yes, she's a majesty. Greetings. As a very good one. I told you, she is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Your Majesty. Take her. Get her entertained. Um. I will be with you shortly. Hmm? Uh, let me <laughs> let me round off my discussion quickly. Quickly, oh no, let's round off our discussion. Thank you. Uh, yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, what do you think of her? How do you mean? Is she not beautiful? What is going on, my king? To the best of my knowledge, you are meeting this woman for the very first time today. And already you are asking you or know his impression about her? What kind of thing is that? Oh no. Why do I keep forgetting? That you have this unrepentant link with the Stone Age. Why don't you just go stark naked, crawl on all four, and jump into the bush? Do I have to remind you that that old word you keep undermining is better than what we have now? Then go there and live there. Huh? I am living in the present age. And in this age, Kotsi demands that a beautiful woman should be appreciated when you see one. Oh no, that woman of Umitem that just left here is beautiful. Uh, if you don't accept, refuse to eat anything when you get home. Oh, darling, Mecha. O gebo ibo. Eh? O no baje no we. Ah, o malicha. Aku go. Hmm? O gebo ibo. Ah. Oh no, but you know where I am happy that I met you. Very happy. But you know what? We should have met earlier than this. <laughs> Your Majesty, uh -huh. don't worry. It has just begun. And that's what matters. 
you see, I I don't want you to spend another night in that hut. Hmm? That is why I brought you to my private chambers. Because you know, special people should be given special places. Hmm? Your Majesty. Yes. You want me to share the same chambers with you. Do you have a problem with that? Your Majesty, I don't think it's right for me to do so yet. Who says it's not the right time? I just came in here yesterday. I never wanted to spend the night here. You made me do so by the wonderful way you received me. And now you want me to share the same chambers with you. What would people say? Who are the people? Your people. You, your son. The elders. Oh, no, Bajie. Oh, no, Bajie, forget about the people. Hmm? I am their king. Look, make yourself comfortable. All right? This will be your home in a short time. <laughs> How was your journey back? The girls are the owners of the rose. I'm glad they travel with me. Let's get down to business. <laughs> um, you know you are the best herbalist in the whole of Umumbem. Oh, thanks to the girls. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, there is this woman that the God sent to me. Uh, she's beautiful. So, so beautiful. Uh, she, she's from Umuitem. And um, she said, she is going to do things to me in bed. <laughs> she is special. Very special. She has been with me in this palace for... Two days. For two days. Two whole days. And I have not touched her. Because I am waiting for you. I need you to give me something powerful. Hmm? <laughs> something strong. <laughs> that, that will make me to do wonders to her. Wonders that will make my memory last forever in her mind. Your Majesty, mm -hmm. did you say she's from Umuitem? Yes. And she promised to do things to you in bed. Do you have a problem with that? I have been to Umuitem Kingdom. I know their way of life. No widow of theirs we say a thing like that. What do you mean? Umuitem women are very decent. None of them will say to any man the kind of thing you said that she said to you. Talk more of a widow. I need to see her, Your Majesty. What for? The whole thing sounds strange. 
Please, Your Majesty, let me see her. Well, well, if you, if you insist, um, no, 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 no. Uh, she's a special woman. Hmm? Let me get her myself. Igwe. <laughs> 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 I prepared this medicine from the finest of herbs that I got from your kingdom. Uh, you have to drink it at intervals. I have prepared a pot of it. And I assure you that by sunset tomorrow you will be fine. Mwah. Drink. <laughs> you going mwah, no, no. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. Is a boom ball of one hundred of ya? Take the cup. You'll mm -hmm. be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, okay, Ken Naruga. Of whom is Anam? I have never had this kind of experience before. You'll be fine, you will be fine. That I heard your ancestors whispering into my ears. Must we talk about my ancestors? Yes. We must. We must, Debebelo. They have given me a message. And I must deliver the message to you. What is the message? Your ancestors have warned that apart from the disease you could get from women, that one of them will steal a sacred material from this palace. The absence of that material uh. will possibly lead to the collapse of your kingdom. The gods will turn their backs at you and you will lose the throne. Oh. I know you as a great herbalist. Are you also a seer? Yes, I will. I say things the way I see them. Please, endeavor to warm that pot of medicine and make sure the Igwe drinks it at intervals. I vouch on my honor, he will be fine by dusk tomorrow. Okay, Ken Noroka of Umezanam. I will not say anything yet. When I am healed, I will surprise you. I will be waiting, Igwe. I will be waiting. <laughs> Even at that, please see me off. <laughs> I will be waiting. You will be fine, Igwe. <laughs> Can you please explain this to us? Is this not the same of free jelly that you said is missing that we are looking at here? Oh, boy, if more puzzle. How could you? How could you lie to us and accuse my father, the king, falsely? I am highly disappointed in you, Obwe Fimo Puzo. Uh, 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 Obwe Fimo Puzo is only a priest and not a seer. Hey, when it also is here, we should ask him to see for us. Kabe. Yes. We all may not know that he is here, but he is. But in here, they are not going to be Kabe, not now. Apologies. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to the other side. I ask you again. Is this not the offer in jail?
Can I have it? Why? We shall be going with it to the central deity of our land. I ask again, why? Because that is what the gods want us to do, Your Majesty. Huh? Gods of my ancestors, where are you? Why have you forsaken me? Look at my life. Look at where I am today. Everyone has abandoned me to die. I've lost my position as king. My son. I've lost my people. Even my... Ewenatozo. I lost everything. Now I am dying of this strange illness. And all the herbalists have refused to heal me. This is too much for me. This is too much for me. I brought this upon myself with my reckless and stupid way of life. Oh. Oh. Oh, had I known. Ezebanda. We have come one more time to plead with you. Please, don't do this because of us. Don't consider us. Consider the future of our kingdom. Return the offer to us, Biko. Biko. Your Majesty, the news has gone wild in all the kingdoms around us. That our kingdom is now a barren kingdom where no male is potent. And it has been confirmed, Ezeigband, not just by one seer, but by several seers, that our land will be healed once the offer returns. So we are pleading with you, Ezeigband. The strong man who has the staff of Obamubada, please. Return the offer to us. Biko no. Biko. 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 Biko no. Biko can I? Please. Biko. Eh? We are begging you from our hearts. The innermost part of our hearts. Biko. Elders of Omumbem. Igwe. Are you not tired of doing this? I mean, when are you going to stop doing this? I have given you a condition already. Huh? Why don't you agree to that and have your offer back? It seems you have forgotten so soon. Let me remind you. Okay. I told you that I will return your offer back to your kingdom on one condition. And the condition is that you, Umumbem, will enter into an agreement with me. Agreement. Yes. That you will share all revenues coming to your kingdom with me. <laughs> it is that simple. And the choice has always been yours. What is it you don't understand? If you don't have anything more to say, Greetings, greetings, my uncle. Greetings, Greetings, Sir Seluka. Greetings, Sir Seluka. Greetings, greetings. greetings. Oh no, what happened? He refused. Again? Mm -hmm. What? What did he say this time? Did something? 
that we should enter an agreement with him to share all revenues coming to our kingdom with him. What, what, what is wrong with that man? Ah. There is something wrong with him. Why? Why? Why have the gods chosen to remain silent over this? You cannot question the gods of Seloka. We cannot. We are a barren kingdom <laughs> without a king. This is there, madness. There is something that can be done about it, I believe. This is madness, oh no. This is madness! It's about the power, my prince. It's about the to fear Akwa. That woman is evil. Hey, I suspected it. I did. Nchekube, hmm? did I not tell you that I believe that something must have backfired? I was really shocked to hear that. I mean, must my face be disfigured before Mwalutu could have the prince? They both saw you as a threat because they know that the prince has always been interested in you. And that was how Walutu lost her life. Well, I have forgiven them. I am glad my father has also done the same. Just like that? Yes. To appreciate the gods for saving me from the hot water that would have been poured on me. I also want you to know that in life, there is always a need for forgiveness. For the gods to have saved you from the boiled water, could it be, could it be you've always had their protection? Maybe. Oh, my king. You make me happy day by day. Oh, really? Yes. You're the best woman on the face of the head. Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> I regret marrying the woman I call my wife. What? <laughs> my husband. My husband, it's, it's, not, it's not what you think. Yes, I, 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 I will just... I, I beg you, please, just... Setting you ablaze is the only thing on my mind. But I will spare you for reasons best known to me. Get out of this palace. Okay, okay, please, please, where do I go? Where do I go? You open please. your mouth to ask me that question, where will you go? Please. When you were busy sleeping with my father, you didn't know? Please, please. So this is why... You have refused to give me a child. As I said before, get out of this place. Hey, no, no. Don't ever call me. You are a very wicked girl. You are mean. Sharing my husband with me when you have yours. Son. Mother. Send this girl out of hey, here. No, no. Do you want me to repeat myself? Go on, get out! Get, 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 get out! Who is your Don't get up of it! Get out! No, no, no! Can you imagine? Hey! Hey! You shameless king! You never knew Ogogwa and I will return from Dusogu today, right? You see? Your cup is filled up! That means both of you have been cheating on us all the while we've been away from the palace. I knew you were evil. But I never thought you would go to the extent of sleeping with my wife. Yeah. You are shameless. I hate you. And I regret the day I was born into this world as your son. Evil man. How dare you? Are you aware that I am still your king? Are you both aware of the things I could do as the king of this kingdom? Are hey! you aware? What can you do? What can you do? Are you daring me? Lay your hands on my mother. And you will see another version of me. Mother, let us dissociate from evil. Yeah. 
Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it is me, Renatozo. The king is a womanizer. True or false? Ah. Have you suddenly gone dumb? Hey. You should learn how to mind your business. What other business should I mind if not what I'm doing right now? Hey, Renatozo. The question is very simple. The king is a womanizer. True or false? Very simple. Well, my prince, most men like women. And it is inherent in them. I believe the king is not an exception. Hmm. I agree. Totally. I like women. Well, you would also agree with me when I say that there is a big difference between liking women and being a womanizer. No, will you swear on your genitals eh, that you don't know the difference? Eh? You smuggle women in for my father. Almost every night. Yes. Can you deny that? Yeah? And when you bring the one he doesn't like, you smuggle that one into your room. Can oh. we please have this meeting without his annoying interventions? <laughs> is it me? Yeah? Oh, is, is it me that will not also his call annoy him? Oh, my prince! Oh, my prince! Permit us to fight here and now and see who, who, who will vomit blood. Enough! John! Ewan Atozo. My prince. I have no problem with you. You are the king's special guard. The same guard who brings women in for him. Maidens. All I ask is that you advise him. Advise him to take one of these women and make his wife. So that the women of Umumbem will have a leader. Understood? Yes, my prince. Job, job. Yes, my prince. You can even apply your, your, your Tangele Vitane. I, 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 I see what the king's problem is. Just. Just. Will you do it or should I do it? Uh, 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 please. please, Your Majesty, you have to allow me to travel to home with them. Please. Hey, not also. Why are you bothered? Why? You, Your Majesty, I am bothered because the Otandeli Fitani has never given me a blood vision. Never. It started with her and. Based on that alone, I have to travel to investigate her father, Your Majesty. Stop it. They were not also. How many times would I tell you that I am not interested in your so-called Otangele Ifitiani? Yeah. Eh? Look, Onubaji is my wife-to-be. And nobody can stop it. Not even the gods. Yes. But funny enough, I have not touched her yet. Is it not surprising to you that Eze Egbebelu Nebungwa slept with a woman all through the night and did not touch her? Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, 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 that is because I am waiting for Odebo, the herbalist. You and I know that he traveled to Ukulu and he will be back today. You see, I want him to give me something special. Something that will help me satisfy Onubaji for the first time. You see, I want to give her something that she would remember for the rest of her life. Is there any problem, Your Majesty? Where is the woman of the Umitem? Found. She's nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found? How? I went into the chambers to look for her and her bag and one of my elephant dogs is missing. It boils down to what I told you. That no widow of Umitem will say a thing like that. So? Your Majesty, stop playing with women. 
I'm settled down to one as wife. Is this why I waited for you for two whole days? Two whole days for you to come back from Ukulu. Wedebo, let me ask you. Who are you to advise me? Hmm? Who are you to advise me? Are you mad? Your Majesty. Yes, I ask again. Are you mad? Your Majesty. Now get out. Get out of my palace. Get out of my kingdom. Get out! Your Majesty. Get out! Get out! Your Majesty, I know you are very angry with me for abandoning you just like the others. But it wasn't intentional and that is why I have come to apologize to you. Your Majesty, I know that every other person in this kingdom sees you differently. But I still see and respect you as my king. The king that you used to be, Your Majesty. I brought you food. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. It seems you didn't sleep well last night. I made a special abacha for you. I know how much you love abacha. him for killing my mother. I'm still very hurt by his death. He was my father after all. I understand how you feel, my prince. I never liked my mother for abandoning me when I was a child. But I felt really bad when I heard of her death. Please, my prince. Take heart. He brought the illness that killed him upon himself. No, 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 no. I don't think the illness killed him. I believe he died because of regret and heartbreak. Whatever happens, Nkonye remains of utmost importance to me. I cannot believe that I... I cannot believe I did not take the opportunity that was handed to me on a platter. No, no. That offer must be returned. It must be returned and it will cure the barrenness in our land. I do not care. I do not care if the warriors have refused to go to war with Omodengwa. I also do not care. If Eze Wanda has powers with it, all I know is that I am losing my patience and I will do something crazy. Something like what? Something like going to Omudinkwa. Alone. And I will not be going unarmed. No, no, no. No. You won't do that. What do you mean I will not do that? Eze Wanda has refused to return the offer by himself, willfully. I will go there and I will get it from him myself. 
please, Oseloka. Are you out of your mind? Do not insult me, Kabe. Hey, hey, hey. Remember, you are no longer the prince. So don't be carried away by the fact that I still address you as one. Oh, yes. That is the truth. See, as I said, she won't be going to Umudewa. I, Kabo Nyade, now, 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 be here. not allow you. Let's keep hoping on the gods. I'm sorry about the death of your father. Come on, look over here. You cannot keep apologizing for his demise. You did not kill the man, did you? I know. But remember, he was your father. I know that. But the gods know best. Nkonye. Do you know I love you? Well, I am beginning to believe that. Can I ask you a question? What if the Ophoijele is returned to our land and it cures the barrenness? Would you marry me? Not until you spend the night with me. Till we return, for I believe in the gods. <laughs> leave. Okay. I said leave. Okay, my destiny. You will never return to Umumbem unless they agree to my terms. He just wouldn't listen. Now, now, see. Ibanta. Ibanta. Look at the way you ended your life because of jealousy. Hey. Okugua. You have to return the offer to Mumbai Kingdom. Mother, I have I have thought about it, but but I am scared. What if the Ofo kills me? No. It won't. You're innocent. It will not harm you. Please. You have to take it back to the owner.
Rwanda is now very rich. Acting on my instruction, he now wields power and he has the Ophoyjel of Umumbem Kingdom in his custody. Mm. Now he can, he can, he can, he can do the impossible. But what did he give to me? Just a cow. Just one cow as if I am a woman that likes meat. Or am I a, a fool that he can placate with a cow? If I kill Ezebanda now and take the Ophoyjele of Umumbem Kingdom, will my name stop being Ozuome the Nyakrim Potompo of Umumbala Kingdom? <laughs> Even Nacho Nukenu, Adam Nogubona. This is the original of Fort Ijele. <laughs> it finally came back to us. Thank you very much. We sincerely appreciate it. You don't need to thank me. This of war rightfully belongs to the people of Umumbem. I am sorry for what my father must have cost you and your land. Mm -hmm. Find it in your heart to forgive. My mother and I tried to warn him, but he just wouldn't listen. I'm sure he must have learned his lesson in the land of the dead. Prince of Umodenkwa, you have spoken well. And one more time, I have to thank you for making this noble move. Thank you, Prince Ogugua. Thank you very much, elders and chief priest of Umumbe. I shall be on my way now. May the gods protect you. May the gods protect you too. And thank you for coming to our land. <laughs> we time. must find a way to appreciate what you just did. Thank you. It's been money. Jankoma. I believe the return of your four has instantly healed the barrenness in the land. So, what is next? Who will be our next king? That is the question. The return of the four has not healed the land yet. What do you mean by that? The healing can only happen when Umumbem crowns a king. That king will make a pronouncement that will bring healing to this land. Hey. In that case, you will from Mobuzo. We shall rely on you now to communicate with the gods and tell us who that next king is. Yes. Exactly. We are the elders in council and we are telling you right now that we must adhere to the verdict of the gods. Who have they chosen as the next king of Umumbem kingdom? The gods asked a question. What question? If Osoloka is crowned the king, will any elder in council have problem with that?
Greetings, my prince. Greetings, my prince. Greetings. Diofo. Diofo is back. What? How do you mean? That is not important. It is a very long story. The problem is, Diofo cannot heal the land until a new king is crowned. It is a new king that will make the pronouncement that will heal the land. Now that your family has lost, who is the person that will emerge and make the pronouncement? You idiot! Medes like you are the reason some men are heartless. You are so evil that you will hardly get a decent man that will marry you. Enough! Kabe. Enough, Kabe! You did not come here to banter words with anyone. The gods have chosen me to rule the land. And uh, since it is impossible for me to ascend the throne as a single man, I have chosen you to be my wife. Reject me again, and I will remain single forever. And a new king will not emerge. And maybe the gods will turn their backs on us again. Today is a special day in our land. A day of the gods. A day that signals the climax of a rigorous process. And we are here today to fulfill the verdict of the gods as communicated to us by the chief priest. Obuefi Mobuzo of Umuban Kingdom. Eye of the gods. How come? How come? Oro. Time is here. <laughs> By the power vested in me as the Onowu of Umubem Kingdom, I declare you the chief custodian of the ancestral stool of Umubem Kingdom. And I crown you. As Oseloka of Umbankind. Thank you all. And I thank the gods for a day like this. I appreciate. One promise that I will make to you all here today. With my beautiful lola by my side. <laughs> is that I, Eze, Oseloka, will be a true king. 
I will rule as a true king. Mm -hmm. And I will never, ever let you down. <laughs> The appointed moment is here. On our wedding night as it ought to be. And not before, like we mortals planned it. Do we have to go there? It happened for a purpose. And I'm sure the gods used that silly act of mine to achieve a purpose. No more curses. Tonight, you will experience the man that I have always been. Mm. I can't wait. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Fedio Tonu, Erika, Manawani Cassifeni Leo Tom, Utomani Nekezwaro, Mano Tomani Neposo Bodo, Utomani Bifedio Mimi, Mano Tomani Napato Dogu.